Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of AOS All-Stars. Um, I am the floating voice in the void. Uh, as you can see, there are no webcams this stream because Logitech decided to push out an update, like, last minute, and I don't have access to my webcam, and that was fine with John. So hopefully somebody chats soon, otherwise this is just a big gray screen in front of everybody. Um, how's it going, John? Yeah. Actually, since that's the case, why don't we just swap straight to the, the game view here? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't know. Kwisatz Haderach. Fear is the mind killer. Yada yada. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um... So you might know John if you have been paying attention to the ITC circuit at all. Last year he placed as the number one order player uh, for 2023, which is pretty awesome. And I think you were number one something else too, weren't you? Or was that just it, like one of the factions at least? Right. So being an elf player, what makes you think you're better than everyone else? Um, you know, most elves, of course, they can't grow facial hair, so it's it's just really good when um, you're just the absolute man, so to speak. So, yes, that yeah. that, that would be the uh, that would be what would cause us to be head and shoulders above everybody else. I also have to apologize. You were muted that entire time for the stream, and I'm so sorry. I I, oh, unmuted, you. I unmuted you halfway through that. So Damn. this is a great start to the stream. Um, we're very professional here, and things are great. Um. But anyway, now that people can hear John, yeah, um, let's just let's just clean slate this one here. Okay. Uh, so normally, <laughs> normally we have uh, normally we have it so that the guests will come on and kind of pick, uh, bring a list of their choosing, and then I'll ask them to to pick like one of my lists. But this time, John and I kind of like colluded beforehand, and we're like, <gasps> you know what? Why? Why should we do that, right? Like, why should we bring something super, super competitive? Uh, you know, I could have provided him with all of, like, the main Ogre archetype lists. But, and he could have brought, like, a super competitive Lumineth list because he plays Lumineth all the time, which is something he said when he was muted. Uh, but he really wants to play Agridons. I really want to play more in Fang. So I figured it's just as viable to watch two players who are, you know, pretty experienced in these armies to, to play something that's kind of, like, off the beaten path as well. So... I hope you're as excited as I am, John, and I hope the audience is too. Uh, but why don't you kind of take us through your list a little bit? Sure. So um, first off, yes, I'm I'm actually very excited to have a, a cavalry versus cavalry match. This is just the 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 absolute fantastic uh, proliferation of the uh, the charge across Pelennor fields. Except I'm riding giant chicken lizards, and you are riding giant dog things. So um, it's fantastic. But in terms of the uh, lizards at place, uh, I've got two sets of 10 SARS warriors uh, with spears. Um, fantastic, especially with ordered cohorts. They get plus one to save while they're contesting an objective or while they're wholly within your territory. Um, just rock solid, especially in Coalesced, which is the sub-faction that we're in. Um, really, really good. Uh, Codal's Claw doesn't really come into play for them too much. They're not always charging, but if they do, they're like fours and twos, rend one for one, so it's not too bad. Um... Yeah, yeah, a little unit of chameleon skinks um, enable some battle tactics. They're also just my favorite like unit in the book, um, just because in Total War I like to play as Oxyodl. Um I love the uh, the whole hit and run style of campaign, and so being able to play a couple of these cute little buggers like this this dude's got like a, a hat with a shield that's much too large for him and a stick, so he clearly looks like he's experienced and ready to fight. Looks like a um. Player. Stegadon is uh, the monster, the behemoth in the uh, battle regiment. It is one drop, of course. Um, mostly because it's uh, it also plays in uh, plays in tandem with the uh, chameleons. It enables uh, overwhelming numbers because it has its skink keyword. Counts as ten because of skink war party, um, and it's got okay shooting. Um, three shots, threes and threes, round one for three damage. But the the real winner here is that since we are in coalesced, 
that the Stegodon and the Troglodon both get unique monstrous rampages. The Stegodon can make you fight last on a 4+, plus, and then the Troglodon, which we'll get to in a bit, um, she can just on a 2+, plus extend her stench of death from 9 to 12 inches, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Is there any like requirement for that to happen, or is it just something that you can do regardless of if you're near enemies or not? Yeah, so she's always emitting it at 9 inches, um, but a, it's a monstrous rampage on a 2+, plus, just hit the two plus it goes to 12 inches until the end of the next combat phase so gotcha Very cool. um then of course after that it would shrink back down to nine so yeah um the meat and potatoes uh 12 agridons two by six um with the new cohesion rules made them a lot better um since they can go wide it feels really good yep um do they have spears minus or... one damage they are they do have spears yeah okay, two cool. inch reach um they have spears uh coalesce since they get minus one damage um five wounds apiece four of armor save thicker than a snickers and heavy like a Chevy. oh heavy like Chevy. Um but yeah, they they play in tandem really well with the general, which is the Scarvet on Agradon. Um he has the Vengeful Defender uh Warlord trait or command trait, sorry, not 40k. Uh, uh command trait, which lets him and two other Saurus units make a normal move in my hero phase, which really enables them to get around. Um I think the horror story that I remember both best from that is at Everwinter this past year. I played next to Dean Bills. And um, his opponent in the last round was like, well, I can deploy this far away. And Dean was just like, I can catch you. And the guy was like, well, no, no, I can I can be here and I'll screen this. And Dean's like, I will catch you. And I was just like, all right, slow down, Liam Neeson. It's OK, but you're, you you got this. I, I, I got faith in you. He has a very unique set of skills that involves a hero phase move, a normal move, and then a spell from the Chogodon that lets them run in charge so they can um, they can get around a little bit. So they can move a little bit. Yeah, just that. Yeah. Knight and Cantor, everybody knows what he does. Uh, just, you know, he's there to break glass in case of emergency. Um, there also is the uh, Mystic Shield target for, you know, if I get forced to go top of one, I could just, you know, drop him on the back line. And since he's on a 40 mil base, you just, you know, based on my understanding of math, you can't always be within 30 of him. So not too bad. Um, and then, yeah, the Troglodon, um, randomly like the best, like competitive scroll for Coalesced. Uh, that's my hot take, maybe even nuclear take. Um, I think she's better than the Carnosaur. I think she's better than the Stegodon. I think she's better than the Engine. Um, just does everything that you really want, like a centerpiece to do. Um, debuffs the enemy, heals herself in both hero phases with regeneration. Um, her scroll spell is Primordial Mire, which is like randomly absurd. She picks an objective within 12 or a terrain piece within 12. Um, hit the spell, it's casting value seven, I believe seven or eight. I'll pull it up in just a second, but if it goes off, um, Every enemy or every unit that doesn't have the skin keyword or fly um, can't retreat, can't run, and uh, gets one dice to charge. Wow. Oh yeah, it's just like <laughs> ran, like I just like nested it on her scroll. And there was like ah, this will be fine, and I'm like, I, is it though? Like that's really good, but you know, here we are. It does affect the uh, SARS though, of course, which is the only uh, drawback. So you got to be careful about how you use it. But if you know, in the lists that have a. Uh, Oh, what's his name? Ashalith Bear. It goes to 18 inches instead of 12, and so all of a sudden you can just kind of, you know, yeehaw that spell out there and really, really cut down on somebody's ability to project their threat and get across the board. So, yeah, fair enough. What is the range of that spell again? Just 12. It, okay. It's it's danger close. It's danger close for sure. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. And then I see two uh, two two small contingents of uh, Source Warriors here. You know? Yep, they're the guys that sit on the circles. Um, sometimes they'll run in to eat the uh, eat the unleash hell if I can toe tap onto the objectives so that they're contesting it. Um, that makes sense. They do. Interestingly, the Saurus warriors are the only ones that get bites, um, even though they're Saurus riding other chickens. But the Agrodons and the Agrodon chief don't get it. Um, worth noting is that, of course, in Coalesce, they get plus one naturally for their bite rolls. Um, but if they're wholly within 12 inches of the uh, engine that goes not boom in Coalesce, they get an additional plus one. So on four ups, they can do mortal wounds, which is, I guess, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it can definitely spike. But yeah, that's uh, that's my um, lizard wizard shenanigans. Lizard wizard shenanigans indeed. And sorry, what is the spell that the knight encounter knows? Uh, can't get one because he's an ally. So he oh, right. uh, has... Uh, shield bolt and um, shield bolt. Gotcha. I don't think he has a scroll spell. Let me just triple check. Oh, that's a lie. He has spirit storm. Uh, casting value seven, range eighteen. 
Uh, if successfully cast, subtract one from run and charge rolls for enemy units within range until your next hero phase. So Okay, not useless, but you're probably looking yeah. to stick shield up. So. Yeah, he's the shield target. Cool. Very cool. Anything else you want to say about your list before we trans transition over the dog beasts? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you'd probably care about. Oh, the chameleons, they, they do go into deep strike. Weirdly enough, though, with the Warcry band, the Hunters of Huanchi, because they're totally not Chameleon Skinks, once they're on the table, they can actually come back off the table, go back into Deep Strike, and then they come down at any of my subsequent movement phases. So they can jump down to the next movement phase, jump up, the next movement phase, jump back down again somewhere else, so they can kind of, you know, get around. So Cool. But they can't kind of teleport same turn, essentially. Can't teleport same turn, because it's the, the trigger occurs at the same time, so in order for them to satisfy the being in reserve... Uh, end of uh, movement phase trigger they would already have to be there and so therefore you can never just like pick them up and then immediately drop them somewhere else they always would have to like have a turn to cool down so to speak and then go somewhere else makes sense but yeah cool. that's all i got okay well we can go over to this side of the table then um yeah i am still playing ogres which is an army that i cannot escape because it is my one true love um mm -hmm. we can kind of start with the heroes here so we've got the general who is the husker on stonehorn uh, it's going to have the Rock Main Elder Mount trait, which just gives it minus one to wound. It's a Huskard mm -hmm. instead of a Frost Lord, which means that it's going to have like one of those Blood Vultures. And then the command trait that I gave uh, basically just means uh, it's the Touch by the Everwinter, so he's going to know all of the lore of the Everwinter. So he can cast pretty much any prayer he wants, and then the one he actually knows is Heal. Um, nice. In addition, uh, he's got an artifact, which is just going to be... Once per battle in the shooting phase, he picks someone within six inches, and on a two-up, they take d6 mortal wounds. Nothing crazy, but never know. It could be kind of nice, especially against you, where you're going to be shaving a lot of damage off my actual attacks. The mortal wounds are going to have much more value. Mm -hmm. um, that's about that. The The stone horn itself is, like, pretty slappy. Um, you know, there's going to be six attacks, and then on the charge, there'll be four damage flat. Ren two, fours and threes normally, but I can get that lower if need be. Uh, the prayers that the Huskard has access to is basically I can pick a Beast Claw Raiders unit and give it plus one to wound. Another one is I could give them plus three inches to move. Another one is the Pulverizing Hailstorm, which is just pick a spot 18 inches away and then in a bubble of three inches, everything, I believe on a, it's a three or four up or something, takes D3 mortal wounds. I'll have to check that. Mm -hmm. um, and Is that the one where you got to like roll the battle round or something? No, that's the, so what, uh, that's just a trait that all of the Beast Claw Raiders have where... Uh, at okay. the start of my hero phase, if you're in combat with me, I roll the battle, battle round or less, and then it's D3 mortal wounds. Dope. Um, okay. Then the other heroes, we've got the Butcher, who is going to be knowing uh, Blood Feast. And that basically just gives a Ogre unit plus one attack to, their, to all of their melee weapons, so that could be going to... Or it could go to anyone except for the Huskard on Stonehorn, essentially. Uh, so okay. it's pretty much going to be going on the Mornfang whenever I cast it. Uh, then I've got Horfrost on the Slaughtermaster, um, which is pretty self-explanatory. The War Scroll spell that's on the Butcher is basically just like an 18-inch range. Uh, do you know what Voracious Maw is? Uh, is that the one where you just like roll some mortals, then you get to keep rolling and keep rolling and keep rolling? Yep, exactly. So basically, yeah. you, you would take D3 Mortal Wounds, I roll a 4-up, it's another D3 Mortal Wounds, and it just keeps going until I don't roll a 4-up again. Uh, nice. So on average, it's like, you know, maybe 3 Mortal Wounds or something like that, but... Sure. Uh, nothing nothing crazy, but it has done like 13 in the past, so it's a little mini blizzard, okay. blizzard why not? <laughs> um, We're all work our profits. Yeah, exactly. Uh, then we've got the Slaughtermaster, and uh, I already said he has Horfrost. His War Scroll spell is literally useless in this battle, so that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and he has a once per hero phase ability. In my hero phase, right, I just roll a d6 and something happens. On a 1, he would hurt himself. On a 2, he heals himself and then everyone wholly within 12 inches of him. On a 3 or a 4, he gives someone plus 1 to wound. Uh, and a 5 or a 6, he would hurt all enemies within 6 inches of him. Nice. Uh, then, moving on to kind of the battle line. Uh, my sub-faction basically just makes it so that the Mornfang can run and charge. It's Thunderbellies. Okay. Uh, the big thing to note about Mornfang, they are 6 wounds each on a 4-up save. Um, you can kind of see that I've got them split into clubs and hackers here. So the red ones are going to be hackers. Those are the dudes on top are going to have two attacks each. Uh, fours, threes, ren two, three damage flat. And then the dudes Ooh. with the, uh, the the blue ones are going to be clubs, and there are three attacks each, but it's threes, threes, minus one, two damage. Um, okay. And then 
All of them have their mount attacks, which are just four attacks on fours, threes, rend one, two damage. So that's basically like six attacks, six attacks each for these guys, seven attacks each for these guys, and then Blood Feast would give them each an additional two attacks, like one for each profile. Um, Is it two inch reach, three inch reach? Uh, it's two inch reach for the dudes on top, and I think one inch reach for like the mounts. Uh, but okay. I'll verify. My that. mounts are also that's the same for me too. Two for top, one for bottom. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be groups of four, not groups of eight. Um, okay, sure. The champion is just going to have a pistol, which Scow. probably you won't be using very much, but it, it is like fours, threes, minus one D3 damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Just one attack. Uh, then the special rule with the Mornfang is, so for these guys, the blue ones, whenever you attack them on a save roll of six, they deal a mortal wound back to you. Uh, and then also for all of the Mornfang, whenever they charge into you, your Unleash Hell can only wound on sixes, but you don't really have any shooting that matters, so not a big deal. And then they are minus one to hit against shooting in general. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it. As far as impact mortals are going to go, each of the units of Mornfang are going to be doing impact mortals on fives, and it's just going to be rolling sure. a number of dice equal to the unmodified charge roll. Uh, the Stonehorn is going to be on fours. Both of the heroes will be on sixes, and then the Noblars can't actually deal mortal wounds. Um, oh, okay. Noblar, Wait, don't they have which... a thing if I move around them? Yes. Uh, so I've yeah. got this Eat My Butt Aura, where anytime you finish any sort of move within six inches of them, and that's like charge, pile in, move, like anything, even murder lust, uh, it'll, on a four up, do D3 mortal wounds to you. So nice. If you move within six, and then you charge, and then you pile in, you could be taking nine mortal wounds at an absolute cap, which is much more than it probably will be, but it is something to note. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. The The heroes are surprisingly slappy. The Butcher actually has, like, three three flat damage attacks. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Ludivicus Sounds says good. in the chat, Carson Dunn lost his mind with that list. Yes. <laughs> that's the point. Um, it's, it's wacky, but I think it's going to be fun. Uh, we've also got the Great Mob Pot, which, for those that don't know, is just basically like a uh, plus one to cast and unbind for any wizards that are within an inch of it. Uh, and in addition, I can spend it once, uh, and it's just like a wholly within 36 inches D3 heal for all of my ogres. And then if nice. John loses a model within 6 inches of it, it refills. Okay. Do you have to be next to it to empty the pot, or do you just say, like, the within, pot empties and Within 6 inches of it. Eh, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's easy peasy. With a hero. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, never mind, yeah, alright. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Any any questions about the list? No, I think uh, I think I got what you're doing over there, man. Sounds good. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a lot of Mornfang, and uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yep. Do we want to just pick a completely random? Seems good to me. Okay. Cool. Let's shuffle this. Every step is forward, which is number four. Uh, okay. Every step is forward, which we have four objectives here, and we've got this weird step deployment. Uh, then the special rule is basically just going to be that anytime someone charges, they count as one extra for the purpose of contesting objectives. And then anytime someone retreats, they cannot contest objectives at all. Uh, and then other than that, it's just one, two more. How much would that mean that your might makes right counts for on objectives then, if you charge? So this list is a little odd. Uh, the Mornfang are always going to be counting as two each on objectives. So they'll just be three okay. if they, they charge. Uh, the Stonehorn will count as 10 total, and then 11 if he charges. Uh, and then each hero will be 5 normally, but 6 if they charge. Uh, so Got it. I guess the Noblars are the thing that's going to be like the most impactful if they charge, but if I charge you with Noblars, something insane has happened. So Get Carson to charge me with Noblars. Yeah. Mission is a go. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Cool. Um, also, I'm not sure if you have the chat open, but Sometimes people ask questions. I'll, I'll try to call them out as much as possible. If anyone in the chat does have any questions for John or myself, then feel free to ask. But I think we can pretty much move forward with uh, deployment here. I am also a one drop as well. Ooh, so. spicy. All right, well, let me get the, uh, the honorary lizard dice. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Big, big, big. Uh, I'll take the attacker. That makes sense. Uh, so I usually just do LVO terrain rules, uh, Ooh, if that works hot. for you. I love it. Cool. 
Okay, so shooting doesn't really matter at all. I mean, I cry. I sacrificed my pistol shots. I can't have that. Hmm. The skulls. Yeah, exactly. Skull skulls shot, for the skull throne. What is this? Yeah, skulls for the skull. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Put these trees out of the way. Ain't nobody care about trees. Swaggy Shadow Twenty One says, "John, what model in your army is your favorite child?" My favorite child? Ooh, um, that would be uh, this this gentleman right here. That's that's an easy one. Which? That that that, that little guy oh, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Oh yes, of course. Uh, funny hat, big shield with stick. Um, yes, for sure, for sure. He also looks like he would be the one to wear Crocs if anybody's gonna wear Crocs in this army. So. And Crocs, as you know, are the ideal um, Seraphon battle line. However, Crocs of Gores are the ideal uh, footwear to wear to tournaments. Just in case you didn't know. Thank you for elaborating on that. <laughs> so no garrisons on objectives. Then we're going to put these impassables kind of right here. And I'm just going to do my best to mirror it. That's fine. Reform Bugman says, This is a list that only a Frost Lord's mother would love. I disagree. Because, uh, I also disagree. I love this list, and I am certified not Frost Lord's mother. Yeah. So for those that don't know, the Elvira pack was basically just that... Uh, there's one of each type of terrain, so one cover, or sorry, two cover, two impassable, two garrison, and two woods. Uh, they have to be at least six inches apart from any other terrain piece, and then more than three inches from any objectives. Uh, garrisons cannot be within six inches of objectives, and all terrain must be more than three inches away from the board edge, which I think we're good here. So I think that's kind of what I'm going to put down there, and then I'm going to grab the mystical terrain, or mysterious terrain, I always forget. And we're just going to shuffle it three times. Okay. The third time was the weirdest one. Okay. Um, I like this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's got a bunch of stuff that both of us kind of want. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to give us both some arcane. Okay. I'm going to give us both some damned. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to put one arcane over here, mm -hmm. one damned over here. Okay. And then both of these big impassables are going to be kind of useless. Uh, I'll give you the actively not dangerous useless one, though. Very interesting. Yeah. So. My, my friend, you present a compelling argument for me to stay on the red side, so I will uh, elect to stay on the red side. Yeah. And as is tradition, you do not actually place for advantage as the defender. You just place so that you do not have to shuffle around the table and awkwardly um, shift past like 20 people at the tournament. So And all God's people said amen. Exactly. Uh, okay, so let's lock all this down. And okay. uh, we'll roll off our terrain real quick here. Faction terrain, that is. Yep. Ooh, and I'll get you to put yours down first. Okie dokie. Uh, so you have one monster total with the husk guard. Yeah. His movement characteristic while he's hungry is... 14. 14? Yes. And then the Mornfang are going to be 11, but they can run and charge. Got it. I'm picking up what you're putting down, my friend. Uh, we are going to set... There. And I think I'll be okay with that. Over to you with the maw part, Mr. Whitlock. Mr. Whitlock. Okay. Hmm. 
think it goes there. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'll show you mine. Uh, we will put the uh, chameleons up in the sky. Um, how many total spell casts will you have if you go first? If I go first, I'll have two. Two? Uh, okay. They're one each. The Slaughter Master. Gotcha. Seems acceptable. And you will also have two, unless one of them's a double caster. Is the truck a uh, caster? Incantor is level one, and the Skink Oracle is level one. So okay. Yep. Sounds good. So this is kind of an interesting one because there's a lot of you're going to get a lot of use out of your Vengeful Defender command trait just because so much mm -hmm. of the board is your territory. Um, yes. And every objective is going to be reachable via you being in your own territory as well. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, be able to utilize that to um, set myself up for some shenanigans. More, yeah, shenanigans. That's the uh, that's the technical term is shenanigans. Yeah. But the one thing that I do see uh, some coalesce players do is that they'll kind of send tells. They'll just be like, oh, I've got two things that are holy within 12 of my Scarvet, and I have Vengeful Defender. It's like, well, I wonder which two units are getting picked for Vengeful Defender. And so then gives you a little bit less of the illusion of choice. So I will move him to here. I'll set this, and I'm going to reposition. Uh, worth noting, um, the fight last monstrous rampage. I cannot do it on your turn. I have to charge you. So um, he does have to be rip, ra rip, rocking, and rolling to uh, make you fight last. Okay, that's good to know. Yes, 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 yes. So this guy will be coming back ever so slightly. Actually, we'll just do this instead. OK. Um... Troglodon, she'll be here. And then let's see if you yeehaw 14, then I'm feeling kind of bad. But if you yeehaw 14, we're still OK. Here, there. That is okay. Sure, uh, Carson. I think we will. Um, let me just check one movement characteristic quite quick. Uh, I'm good with everything except the Stegodon. So let me just triple check him. Uh, oh man, move eight. I'm not used to this. I'm used to Dawn Riders being like move fourteen, man. Uh, what's the Agrodon movement range again? Sorry. They are move 8 as well. So okay. uh, Agrodon's move 8, Stegon moves 8, uh, Saros Warriors move 5, um, Trogodon moves... Ten. I had to go look that up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually okay with this. We'll, we'll call it Copacetic, I think. Sounds good. I'm just going to wave a big Knobbler fan at you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just cool you off. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Paul's usually working in the background. No, the dogs are fine. Uh, so you've deployed pretty much all of your casting out of range of anywhere I could possibly deploy uh, mm -hmm. in my territory. Except... Alright, yeah, I can only be back here, so... 
Makes sense. Uh, so I think it pretty much makes sense for me to kind of mimic what you've done there. All right, or I can pretty much deploy anywhere and have that be the case for you, or I can deploy my wizards pretty far back and make sure that you kind of have to overextend your heroes in order to get to them, in order to unbind. Mm -hmm. um, which is an act. It's not actually that hard to do. Your Scarvet is a movement 8, you said? He is 8, but he can also get the Vengeful yep. Defender, so it would be 8 plus 8 for 16. So 8 plus 8, plus he's, he could almost definitely run. So okay. I would realistically have to be like back here to prevent you from just auto-running at me. And even if I was mm -hmm. back there, that means you'd have to be here, which I'd be pretty happy about. Um, so I'm going to put the Butcher, who's going to have Blood Feast back here, just because he's Blood Feast is an 18-inch range spell, so I've got a little bit more leeway on that one. Nice. Um, then I'm going to put the Butcher right here. It's going to be within an inch of the... Uh, what's it called? We're going to do something where... So the Noblars are 25 millimeter bases, which means that if I'm yes. like base to base with them, uh, it's still they can be slightly less than an inch. So I'm just going to go like mm -hmm. this. So the Slaughter Master is within an inch of the pot and within an inch of this uh, cover here. Uh, Beautiful. Which is also arcane, so he's got plus two to cast effectively. Love it. He is a smart butcher. Smart butcher indeed. Uh, then we're just going to kind of seal this gap with Noblars. Also, sorry if I'm being particularly talkative about, like... No, 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 I actually... Things, I, but <laughs> it's... No, I, I definitely... Uh, that's the kind of game that I like to play for on TTS, man. One of the one of the things I harp on for, like, when we do TTS tournaments, like Release the Beast or whatnot, is that we talk more and we lose more on TTS games so that we don't lose more on the actual tabletop games. 100%. Um, also, you know, and... the purpose of this stream is to is to learn, right? You know, to share yes, with people... Yes, it's educational. The joy of Warhammer. It's just a happy little knob bar. Yeah, I remember for a while there last year there was a uh, there was some ogre lists that were just like a hundred knob bars. It was just knob bars everywhere. <laughs> yeah. um, I have I have a box of them that I bought at a yard sale. It's still in my closet, I think. I I just I have forty knob bars. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe use them like a display board. That's the proper Midwest thing for me to do with them. Doblar display board. How dare you? How dare you not put them on the tabletop? Hmm. What if I 3D printed like a fold, like like an actual like table table, and I had one of them given someone like the rock bottom through it? What about that? That's fine. Okay. Dope. I'm glad we could come to a consensus. <laughs> I love democracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I've accidentally screwed myself with this big impassable piece right here. Because one thing that I was hoping for was um, being able to run over here with these Mornfang in order to try for a cheeky surround and destroy turn sure. one. But how often? Oh, sorry. sorry. Keep going. Keep going. No, go ahead. How often do you find yourself doing surround and destroy turn one? That's that's a that's a conversation that I've had um, actually with Swaggy Shadows. He's he's in the chat. Um, he's one of the guys that's on my release the beast uh, group. Gotcha. I, I find that the the lists where you're having to burn like intimidate the invaders or surround the destroy or surround and destroy earlier. I don't I don't know. It always makes me feel like I'm a bit behind the eight ball later on if you don't have like those home run battle tactics like Lumineth has. Like L Lumineths are just like cast four spells. It's like KO levels of easy, but yeah, uh, I'm curious what your thought is on that, especially as you know, as a destruction player, which you know ogres don't have. You know, oops, I tripped and fell, and I got five battle tactics. Like, what's your what's your thoughts on that? So we're definitely not oops, I tripped and fell, and have five battle tactics, but we do have a couple gimmies. Um, mm -hmm. The number one one I would say is savor the taste, which is no ogres in combat, which essentially gives me one turn of I don't have to interact with you whatsoever. Um, right, and it's kind of just like a repositioning turn. Normally, Savor the Taste uh, with my regular list is not a turn one tactic. It's like a, I've cleaned up and now it's time to to kind of just like you know, tie a little bow around this if I need an extra tactic sort of thing. Um, so I don't usually do it turn one, but because this list is so mobile, um, it, you know, it, it has the potential to be able to do it without much issue. Right. Um, 
I didn't think you could even pick Saber the Taste turn one, can you? You can't. Um, oh, oh, okay, I see. I see so I see. that's why that's the one benefit of this list I would say is like uh, you can do Saber, or you can do uh, sorry, not Saber the Taste, Surround and Destroy, uh, mm, mm -hmm. pretty easily, turn one. Whereas ogres kind of struggle with a turn one tactic where it's just like I really do actually want Magic Dom. Uh, right. It's like my one, my one possibility. Which is why I'm deploying a butcher like all the way back here, essentially. So, uh, but yep. because I know I kind of can't get surrounded, destroy anyway, I'm just gonna castle up. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it so that these Mornfang are gonna be inside three of the front of the Noblars, but outside of two, just so that mm -hmm. if you come and swing at them, uh, you can only hit the Noblars, uh, but they can step forward and hit you. Yeah, I'd be curious to see uh, with fourth edition um, if you know battle tactic paths how they change. Uh, obviously, of course, I don't I don't as, as expect that we'll have uh, magical dominance still in you know fourth edition. So I'll be curious if they're you know if a new de facto turn one battle tactic, uh, generic battle tactic, I should say, uh, crops up because I know you you made the comment about how you know your turn one could sometimes be a struggle, and I I know that that's one of the issues that corn sometimes has is turn one they are they, they gotta dig for a battle tactic to complete so it's yeah. nice to know that it's you know not just one army because if, it, if it's just one if it's one book that struggles to have a, a turn one battle tactic it's i don't see it as likely that you know james workshop would intentionally go and in out of their way to try and you know absolve that but if there's multiple armies i could definitely see why they would so yeah 100 percent. i think there's very few armies that do have like a essentially auto score turn one battle tactic but it's definitely kind mm -hmm. of a feel bad when you do run into it and you're like, cool. You don't you yeah. don't worry about this whole like, you know, one drop shenanigans thing at all, essentially. Which is it can be rough. Okay. Don't really need to be super nitpicky, so I'm just gonna speed up here. Sure. Just gonna make sure that this unit of Mornfang is within 18 of the Butcher, so that if I do decide to cast uh, Blood Feast, then it's actually gonna be possible to put it on them. Mm -hmm. And they will be within an inch of this, so that if I want to get that plus one to hit, I can. Um, I think that's pretty much gonna be it. Uh, so Don't. who is going to go first? Oh, uh, shockingly, I... oh, let's go ahead. Sorry. Big Ron says, in this battle plan, you can't deploy on the line, can you? I realize you wouldn't because you're asking for a unit to be removed. No, the line in the center, you have to be nine inches away from enemy territory. So Yeah, we're on the yellow lines here. Yeah. He also asked, could you talk about your deployment later? I've kind of been trying to talk about it as I go. Um, largely, I'm just trying to make sure that I've got a, like, a pretty secure turn one battle tactic, even if he makes me go second. Um, and then... That's pretty much it. I'm just castling up so that if he, you know, tries to whip anything at me, I can punish him with a counter punch later. Um, is there anything that you missed for your deployment that you wanted to talk about, or? Um, no, I actually, um, I, I, I think, think we have, have, you know, know pretty, pretty, pretty well mirrored um, with Knight and Cantor versus Butcher. Um, by I making you go first, first, which is what I will be choosing, choosing. You, you, you do have, have a magical dominance opportunity, but so, so will I. Um, so the. Uh, the reason that I set this back up here, or set the Incantor back, is because I'll have four chances for Primal Dice instead of just two, which is what you would have. Yeah. So um, we set ourselves up to be um, fairly reliable in terms of uh, getting um, getting a a handshake for magical dominance. So. Yeah, totally makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, but, and apologies, I interrupted you earlier, but who has the first turn? Uh, that would be you, my friend. All right, I quit. That's it. I'm out. Okay. Uh, let's go to the bar. Yeah, sounds good. Wings? All right, let's do it. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs>
Nice. Okay. Uh, okay, so first turn's going to me. Uh, let's go ahead and roll some primals. Mm -hmm. So we'll get one from me. Uh, you will not get one from me, though. Okay, and I'll have two CP. You've got three CP. We're going to just try and go for an extra CP on the Slaughtermaster as my heroic action, which I will get. Beautiful. Uh, surprise, surprise, I'm going to go for uh, Magical Dominance. Mm -hmm. Which, I don't think you have any heroes in range of any of my casters, so I'm pretty Do safe not. to be able the... to cast with everything. The Stegadon uh, hero is the Engine of the Gods, so no, nobody in range. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Um, so that's going to be my start of the hero phase, so over to you. Nice. Um, so my effect for the uh, Antor will be a additional uh, command point on my Agardon. Okay. Um, we will go for a... Uh... Actually, we'll give him an extra spell. I want to try that Spirit Storm spell. We'll try that, yeah. So we'll give him an extra spell, and then we'll go for a command point on the Akradon. Uh, final answer. Cool. Uh, failure. Um, okay. And I think I'm done. Over to you. All right, sounds good. I don't think this is going to be a particularly CP-starved turn, so not a big deal one way or the other. Uh, let's go... For, so for the regular hero phase, we're going to resolve the Slaughtermaster's plot. And he will give someone plus one to wound. I'm Oops. just going to give it to these guys here. Uh, these Mornfang down here. Then uh, those Mornfang, speaking of which, are going to take D3 modal wounds for three. Uh, mm -hmm. Just from the dam to get plus one to hit. Uh, we're just going to put it on the one that isn't actually special, which I think is this guy right here, which I'll have to resolve or fix in the movement phase. Um, then let's do some spell casting. Mm -hmm. So we are going to cast. We're going to cast uh, Mystic Shield from the Slaughtermaster, who's got plus two right now. Yes, sir. And then I'll go off with an eleven. You got it. And I'm actually just going to put that on the Noblars. Okay. I think if you hadn't, I would have asked you why. So nice. <laughs> um. Then next up, we're going to. I mean, I guess the butcher is going to. Cast Blood Feast? Why not? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to go off on a 8. You got it. Uh, that I'm will... out of reach. There. We're going to go and put that on these Mornfang over here, just to kind of like project threat okay. uh, to multiple units. Uh, so that's going to be plus one attack right there. Then. With that. Uh, we're going to try and cast Heal, or Pray for Heal, with a uh, Stonehorn. Mm -hmm. And I... Is it a 3-up or a 4-up? Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like that's a 3 and Curse is a 4? Yeah, Heal's 3, Heal's 3. Okay, cool. And I'll try and heal the wounds off of these Mornfang yep. here. Yep, yep. Uh, for 2, so they've just taken 1. Nice. Okie dokie. Uh, that's pretty much going to be my hero phase. Okay. Um, anything at your end of hero fights? Nope. Cool. Uh, I'm going to activate Gotcha Hammer, and I'm going to be here. I'm just kidding. Okay, sounds good. Carry on. <laughs> gotcha Hammer. <laughs> ah! uh, okay, so moving phase, we're just going to use this free CP that the uh, Slaughtermaster generated. The Noblars are going to auto-run. Essentially, mm -hmm. I'm just going to step just onto this point here. Uh, yep. they, they move a total of 11 inches, so I'll just shift them forward accordingly. That's fine. You want to retain the uh, the line between your Slaughtermaster and the mop pot? Oh, they're going to be moving to the front of the mop pot, so it's going to be... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Got it. All right, carry on. So we'll just I know that you had, that. during deployment, made a point to say that they were an inch between them, so... 100%, yeah. The, uh... And they should be able to slide through, because that inch yes, is still there. Yes, you're... Yeah, dude. Yep. Okay. I like Sorry. Danish Warhammer. I like to play by intent. You tell me you can do something, and if you can do it, you're doing it. Sweet. Dane Hammer. Dane Hammer! Just working to stay outside of an inch of this. Uh, of and then we just kind of pile up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay. Uh, then. So I've just got three on this objective. Uh, then we're going to run these more thing here. Mm -hmm. They're going to go a total of 15 inches. And you can go a total of 24 inches, so you could end up basically right here. Which would be a pretty hefty charge. So I'm just going to go at the very... 22. 22 before charge. That would be 8, 8, and auto oh. 6 if I can run a charge. So 22. Yep, there you go. Okay, right 8, there. wait, 8, 16, 17, so 18. As long 19, as I stay outside of 12 right there, that's totally fine. So that's going to do so. Like this. Love it. Cool. I'll just have three of them on the point. Mm -hmm. uh, and just go like so. Then. You're also going to get Magic Dom turn one. You're much yes. too far away for me to really be able to contest that. Um, we are going to move these Mornfang. And they'll run even though they don't really have to, but they're just going to kind of just go like this. Yep. Fix the uh, deployment that you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. I dig it. Just like so. Leave this guy behind here like that, so that if and when I decide to take wounds on them again, uh, it'll it'll be the guy in the end, which shouldn't be a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, then just move this guy back slightly. Cool. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, Love it. Slaughtermaster is just going to kind of rotate like this to be as central as possible. We're going to move these Mornfang just slightly up here. So you can pretty easily get into the knob bars if you go like here. Uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the Stonehorn. Actually, we're going to run these Mornfang first. Sure. I'm going to go a total of 13. And let me just see if the stone horn can. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he he can get through there. Okay. Uh, so we are going to yeah, we'll move these guys just over here out of the way. Mm -hmm. Then stone horn is going to move its 14 just down here, or not even the full 14, but just gonna. Hang out right here. Okay. Still be within an inch, just in case I uh, want to take a uh, heroic willpower or something like that. Uh, the butcher is going to run, and I'm just going to miss the black hole. Uh, it's going to be a total of 11 inches. Uh, you've activated my trap card. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much my turn. Okay. So I'll score five, mm -hmm. and then it'll go over to you. Nice. Alrighty. Uh, getting command point. Um, let's uh, roll for some primal dice. Uh, I will give us both one. Okay, and I'm just gonna roll as well, and I will not. So we'll have to okay. two I'll piece. Get one CP, and you get one CP. Okay. Uh, the troglodon is still out of range, so I will go ahead and handshake you with magical dominance. Um, battle tactic is magical dominance. Heroic action will be a command point on the Agadon. Uh, I'll fail that, and now is when I need to declare Vengeful Defenders. So we will move... Uh, we're actually going to move the Saurus Warriors. So... Point one, three point nine. Uh, where'd he go? Three six nine. What? One of my went? source warriors. One of my source warriors just went for. <laughs> He's just gone. Okay. A trip. Um. Okay. Well, when he comes back, we'll know where he is. Um. Uh, <laughs> What on earth? One, two, three, four, five. Thing here? There's ten here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what? You see that? 
Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, he's just, like on top of himself. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right, cool. Get out of here. All right. Shoot, lizards. All right. Also, Fred's asking uh, where our beautiful faces are. Sorry, Fred. The uh, webcams weren't cooperating today, so we just decided to give you more of a view of the board. Yeah, that's the positive side of it, right? That's right. That's right. Uh, we'll just set the eventual defenders here. And the general will not take eventual defender. So over to you. Okay. Uh, I'll just try for another CP on the Slaughtermaster, which I will sure. get. Definitely going to need it. Beautiful. Um, all right. Let's razzle dazzle. Uh, the Trogodon will start us off with Mystic Shield. Okay. You got it. Um, she'll keep the eight. I'm going to put that onto the Stegodon. Wee. Uh, she's done. We'll go to the Encantor. Uh, he's going to just do his Spirit Storm. Seven. I think it cast on a seven. Let me just triple check. Encantor. I'm just doing it for style points. It does cast on a seven. All right. Style points achieved. Hmm. I completely uh, forgot to do my Blood Vulture. Got to remember that for next time. Uh, go ahead. Who do you want to pick? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. I'm just, I say uh, it out loud because I need to remember. That's all. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, minus one. Run and charge within 18. All right. Um, and he's not going to cast Arcane Bolt in fear of potentially just blowing himself up. So, fair enough. Uh, we will go ahead on into movement, and we are going to just run these lizards here. Six. They're going. They are going places. It's not college, but they are going places. Is there a lizard college? Um, I was gonna try and do like a skink Syracuse like pun, but I I didn't have it ready, so I failed you. I'm sorry. I will. Um, uh, I'll just concede here on the spot and just oh. go cry. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um. Gonna auto six the uh, Stegodon for fourteen. Okay. And he'll just toe tap this. Don't need the full fourteen. Should be just outside of nine of you, which I will be if I can be. I'll give you a nine. Thank you, sir. There you go. And these guys will go here. These guys will play back up. Does the Stegodon count as 5? Counts as 10 because of Skink War Party. Remember, that was the gotcha, thing I was gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Okay. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, 6 Aggradons still. And then we'll just set these 6 Aggradons over here. I'll run them a largely insignificant amount. But I will be doing mostly the same thing you were, presenting a target for a counterpunch. Um, Scarvet, I... Mean, I He's going to go over this way, so that way I can actually just measure 12 inches and use my frontal lobe. He'll be here. Trog will be here. In range to unbind. Incantor is... Buh. Wait, what does he move? Moves five. This is awful. Uh, he'll run two. Two, going seven inches. I'll just be on this uh, fancy terrain. And we'll go into shooting. Uh, Stegodon ran. He may not shoot. Uh, Troglodon cannot spit nearly that far, so we will be done with shooting. We'll go to charge phase. Hilarious. We'll be done, and I'll score five points. Sounds good. And we can go to a priority roll, my friend. Five and five. Priority roll indeed. Hey -ya! Got a two. Oh, you got a three. And I got a three. Um, at this point, I feel inclined to give it to you. Okay. Just because taking this turn gives me a uh, risk of being doubled, and I don't think mm -hmm. that uh, I don't think that you can punish me super super badly for for taking this turn. Um, sure. Okay, so it's over to you. Cool. Uh, I'll go to two command points. You'll go to three. Uh, we'll roll some primal dice. I'll get a two, so I will not give us both one. OK. 
Okay, and I will get a five, so I will get us one. Okay. And then my uh, focus is just going to be on the butcher here. So sure, sounds good. Seems pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, four. Okay. Uh, we will go ahead and use Vengeful Defenders. Do you have access to retreat and charge with the uh, Mornfang? Nope. Okay. But if it just says such restraint, it's like these guys are pros or something. There's no such thing as a professional Warhammer player. That is exactly correct. There's just... It costs money I, uh, the more yeah. tournaments you go to, in fact. <laughs> it costs more money. It's reverse pro. It's yeah. orp or orp or orp magic player or uh orp warhammer players. Orp. Orp. Uh that'll be my two and the Agardon will uh he'll pastor. show restraint, he'll just hold on to his yeah, pastor, yeah. Okay. Uh battle tactic this turn is going to be Uh, Battle tactic this turn will be intimidate the invaders. Okay. And I will pass start of here phase over to you. Okay. Oh, you already did anything, yeah. Uh, I did the uh, optimal focus, but I'll try yes, for a CP on the Slaughtermaster. Sounds good. I will not get. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Um, we'll just I'm in range. You're plus two. I've got one unbind in range of your uh, yep. trog, and that's it. Sounds good. I will go with the Trog. He'll cast Mystic Shield. Okay. Nine. I'll throw a Primal at it. Eleven. I'll keep the eleven. Okay. Well, let's see what I get first. Uh, twelve. Sorry, twelve. I'm on Arcane, so... Okay. Uh, I got a seven. I'm on Arcane, so I would need a six to be able to unbind that. Uh, I, I seven because it's five uh, plus two and then plus one for the pot. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna save my Primal. Okay. I will give Mystic Shield to the Agadons. How dare you? How dare. Um, Incantor will do the same spell. I knew it. D3. <laughs> <laughs> At least he just takes one. Yeah, that's true. Just one. Okay, okay. Um, on to the movement phase. Um, so we are going to actively not try and take a bunch of free mortal wounds. That's for sure. There's your Thanks, diagram of pain. What is the uh, what is the shooting attack like on the Stegonon again? So it's three shots, um, twenty-four inch reach. I'm pulling it up on my app. Yes, twenty-four inch reach, three shots, uh, threes and threes, rend one for three damage each. Okay, not awful, not great, um, but yeah. it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna read. Would you like to read it, sir? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the Nobblers are going to redeploy for one. The Mighty Worth. One. And basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it so that you can't get within three inches of these Mornfang anymore. Okay. Uh, Cool. 
the same thing over here. That's the hope. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a way you can do it by killing someone. Then I was gonna say, in if course, but... go away. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm going to run these Saurus Warriors up here. They get plus one to this. Yep. They're flying. They're just gonna be. Uh, I'm actually going to put them into this terrain for so a cover bonus. Because we do like cover. Cover's pretty nice. Cover's nice. It's also damned, so, you know, if I really wanted to get spicy, we could, but we'll see. Okay. Um, I will... Let's see, six. I'll take the eight as the crow flies and be outside of three of you, if you've got a three-inch mark. And throw trash. On a four up. Yes. Yeah. Take two. Two more wounds. Okay. Agardon Lancers, what do I want to do with them? They do get plus one to charges, so I'd be looking for a five on the dice. Which I think is probably the line that's better than taking incremental damage. There we go, thank you. We will go to this corner here. Yep. And for anyone wondering why these warriors are within the range and not taking damage, it's because I redeployed into them. They didn't move into it. Okay, we'll be there. One, two, three, four, plus one is five. One, two, three, four. Cool. Um, I'm going to need a three on the dice. Rumble the dog asks, uh, "Do all Morn Fangs have Gargan hackers?" Nope. Uh, the red ones do, and then the blue ones have the. Uh, the clubs. TTS just didn't have the clubs uh, modeled. Mm -hmm -hmm. Um, I think that my troglodon is going to just. She's gonna go for a run, I think. It's a little jog. A little, a little jaunt, so to speak. A little jaunt. Um. She'll actually just take her down naturally, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, these Agardons, they're just going to set up to be... Um, I'll run them, sure. Three. Okay, cool. Not going to use the full 11. Just want to reset them so that way I can... Uh, post up for any further shenanigans that is afoot. The Encantor will run, hoping for at least a one. I get at least a one. Were you measuring from the Slaughtermaster? Sorry. Uh, yeah, that guy, the Slaughtermaster. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I think I must have hit the Maw Pot. That's okay, though. I wasn't going to auto-six him. I need the command points, so that's fine. Uh, okay, let's make some friends. Um, yeah, we'll make some friends back here, I think, maybe. Do you have a 9-inch by chance? Uh, they're on 25s. not quite be able to be back there. That's okay. We're going to be over here instead and feeling pretty about it. Cool.
grassies. That's an odd bar. Oh, we're too close. Thanks so much. We know what you're trying to do. That's fine. We're not playing millimeter hammer here. Yeah, I think shockingly, I think one of my chameleons is actually on too big of a base because this guy's chunkier than the other ones. But I don't know what base size they're on. I think they're on 28s. That's what this little bag here in front of me looks like. Oh, but they're all different because Warcry. So right, we'll figure it out. That's fine. Yeah. Um. Okay. Shooting face. Uh, the trog will start us off. Uh, she's gonna spit into um the red Mornfang. With her okay. noxious spittle, 18 inch reach. Um, the Mornfang are going to be minus one to wound. Oh, that's true. Just so you know. If I shoot the knob bars, then. But... No, of course. But if I shoot the knob bars, then you pull the closer ones, and the charge gets a little bit harder. Um, counterpoint if you pull the closer ones, then that lets me get closer, which means I could pull the Mornfangs, which means you might actually pull the back ones. So. Uh, they're useful. We'll shoot the red ones. Okay. I will not all out defense. I will not be all out attacking. This will be threes by fours because minus one to wound. Okay, that's just two mortal wounds because I spit on you. Okay, so I'll just take it. Um, this Stegadon is going to... Is the Butcher still a five up armor save? Why do I feel like he's a four up? He is a five up, yep. Five up, okay. Um... Sure, we'll shoot the... Butcher, why not? The uh, three shots. Sorry, sorry. With who? Three, uh, with Stegadon. I don't think you can. Twenty-four inches. Lookout range, uh, or lookout lookout sir is uh, outside of twelve, right? And there's a group of th four here. Oh, you're right. I thought lookout sir was small guys. You are absolutely correct, though. So I'm probably just going to keep shooting some. Uh, some Mornfang gentlemen. Okay. And this one's going to be Ren 1. Uh, correct. This is Ren 1. Uh, I will shoot into that same wounded unit, though. So. Okay. Uh, sorry, you said four attacks. So it's and... three attacks, oh, right, Ren sorry. 1, threes and fours, uh, three damage flat. Okay. And will you be uh, all out attacking? I will not be all, I will not be all out attacking. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna save my CP. I think. Okay. Threes. Two hits. Up to fours. Nothing. Good talk. All right. Okay. Charge face. Um. We'll start with the Stegadon. Okay. Got it. Seven. Uh. We'll just careen into here. Oops. Okay. Okay. And I will take some trash. Yep, on a four up. Yes, for two. Okay. Um, I'll do my impact hits. Uh, well, that, sorry, technically what happened first, but. Oh sure sure sure. Um, is it still six inches though? It is for the yeah. th for throwing trash. Okay, so there's there's no way that I could have, um, pulled myself out of it. So. Uh yeah, roll a dice for each enemy unit within one inch of this unit on a two plus they suffer D three mortal. So yeah, it's just the uh just the nobblers. Okay. Uh yes. they do for D three. For what? Just one. Okay. And we're just gonna get rid of this one here. Sounds good. Okay. Um We'll go with the Agrodons next, looking for a five on the dice. Three, not great, but that's why we kept the command points, so we'll reroll that. Got it. To a nine. Oops, let me do this so I can use my frontal lobe, don't mind me. to spin. Okay. Uh, throw some trash. Throw some trash indeed on a four up. Yes. For two mortal wounds. Wow. All right. You, been... you told me that that doesn't do anything, <laughs> but you. I just want to point out that you, that's that's. It's happened, happened every time. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. That's okay. I I just had the I had the assurance that this doesn't occur. Don't worry. It's going to be totally <laughs> fine. 
<laughs> it's everything's fine. Stars Warriors will charge. They get plus one to this. No, yep. no reroll though. Yeah, you got it. Nine. They're also in two. I'm just gonna kind of do that number here. Okay. Uh, and on throw some four. trash. Yep. Okay, Carson. So just one. Just one. It's just one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, I've been lied to by the, by the knoblers. All right, sounds good. Um, that will be all my charges. Uh, Monstrous rampages. I will attempt to. Um. What's the knoblers armor save? Is it fives or sixes? Uh, sixes, and then they're plus one. So. Five. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, I will just roar the knoblers. Okay. Actually, no. I will make you fight last on a four plus. So fifty fifty. I will. They have strike last. Sounds good. Okay. Um, all right, let's start things off. I will go ahead with the Saurus Warriors. Okay. And I will pile in. Uh, also, I think they'll have to roll for the charge. I'll give you a them. deadly check. Yep. Yeah. yep. Does it tr also trigger on pylons? Uh, let me see. I can never remember. No, no pylon. Just uh, move, run, retreat, or charge. Okay. Uh, charge roll. We are not deadly. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We got all ten Saurus warriors in. Okay. Uh, they have one damage marked, so that will be twenty-one attacks. All under the knoblers. Wait before you. Uh, it will all go. Yeah, because you backed off of. Um, or excuse me, you backed forward. Forwarded. I, I remember up. one guy. Here. Forwarded up. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I'll tag them, but I can't hit them because they only have two inch reach with their spears. Why these guys have two inch reach and the mega boss on Maw Crusher has one? I'll never know. I don't ask questions. Right. Sorry, how many attacks is this again? 21, you said? 21. Two, two attacks apiece. So it's forced to hit. Okay. And normally it's threes to wound. But since we charged in Kodo's Claw, it will be plus one to wound. So it will be okay. forced to hit, twos to wound. Rend one for one. Okay. And are you all attacking? I will not all attack them, no. Okay, I, I'm gonna all out defense the Noblars. Yep. Okay, sounds good. And over to you. So this will be for, forced to hit. Pretty good. Not bad. Two's to wound. Perfectly balanced. And Twelve around one, please, sir. This many five ups. So Not one, bad. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Die. One, one damage each. And then before the damage is applied, I need to roll one, two, three, four, five, six, six bites. Uh, this is only on fives because I'm not wholly within 12 inches of the uh, coalesced realm shaper engine, so it'll just be two additional mortal wounds. Okay. Uh, next will be the Stegadon. I don't know what his damage shenanigans is, so I'm pulling it up. Here we go. Massive horns. Um, I will. I think you you actually piled into range of these Mornfang here. Oh, yes, I did. Go ahead. Yeah, more fangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the more fangs are just going to step in real quick here. Sure. Uh, and we're just going to go like so. Would you like to be within three of the Agrodons? E I mean, it doesn't matter. You're already eligible to pile in anyway, so. Does it? I just wanted to ask. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, F fine. I think I'll probably be blocked there. I guess this guy could have just gone like that. And then, boom, okay. I think he could have gone. So I don't think he'll get in. And then this guy, I guess actually he could have moved over here. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, there we go. So two guys basically will get in. Uh, and okay. then one of them is gonna be the champion. I'll just put okay. everything into the uh, Saurus Warriors. Sounds good. And. Do some choppy choppy. Um, cool. already done all the attack, or already done all the defense. Sorry, uh, on the Noblars. I am gonna all attack these guys. Okay. Um, just because these guys down here are already plus one to hit and wound. So it's yep. plus one attack for these guys. So that's gonna be a total of seven attacks with the Gargan hackers. Uh, so let's roll that. And that's gonna be on threes and threes. Mm -hmm. So threes. Pretty good, I'll hit. And threes, uh, five at rend two. Okay, so we are not contesting an objective and we are not in our territory, so this will just be sixes. 
There you go. I'll save two. Uh, and then it's three damage, goes down to two damage, so six total damage. Okay. And, and then... You got your... your yeah, dogs. The dogs. Uh, so it's gonna be five attacks with the dogs. Uh, just got because the one dog. of them is in range. Uh, threes and threes. Is that with the bonus attacks? Yes, normally four. Okay, good. Yep, yep good, good, good. Uh, and then threes. Uh, four at Ren 1. Okay, uh, fives. Make two again. And that's D... Or sorry, it's just two each. Sorry. Uh, so two ten each. total so... damage. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. My bad. Minus one, the... so it's eight total damage. Minus one, so it's eight total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five... Um, I also forgot to roll for your pile in here, but I'll, I'll okay. remember next time. The, uh, just the nobblers. Go, go ahead and roll it, Carson. Jeez. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, it's, all right. It's two mortal ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how about okay. if this doesn't happen? I forgot. I forgot. It's okay. <laughs> you have more mortal wounds than I do with Techless. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I'll go paint Noblars after this. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four, five, uh, and I owe you eight, so three more damage. Um, yeah. I will take the banner, I'll keep the high guy, and then I'll have one damage, and I'll put it here. So. Okay. Alright, Copacetic. Um, let's go with the Stegodon into some Noblars. I will... Pile to three. I think I want them. But then you get to attack my Lancers with impunity, which is not as great. So I will not tag the Mornfang just yet. Okay. And I will just put everything into the Noblars. So. Uh, okay. I will elect not to pile in, so no trash thrown, because I don't want to take more damage. Um, two massive horns. This is threes by threes. One hit. One at rend one, please. Five up. Goes through. Uh... Four damage with the massive horns. Okay, uh, grinding jaws. Uh, this is going to actually all be rolled together, so seven total dice. This is all threes. And twos, because I charged. Three at rend one. Five ups. I'll go through. Two, four, six damage. Uh, and that's the unit. All right, so at the moment you don't have a combat, but when I pile into you, you will. That's correct. So I think I'll just get two chickens here. And these ge these gentlemen were all out attacked. These guys were all out defense. You're out of command points. That's okay, I think that that's okay. Let's do the coalesced tar pit thing and we'll see if uh, we can give some people a show. Oops. There you Ignore go. that ping. Two and a half. Um, I'm not going to use the full three, so I'm just going to have him spin like so. Okay. And then uh, he'll go his three. Actually, he's not going to go his full three either. He's just going to use some to spin so that I can be long ways. And just be within an inch, yes. Three. And three as the crow flies. Okay, so we'll have two full kits into these gentlemen. And then one, oh, it was 2.3, really? Oops. We can, I'm sure you. Okay, I thought we could. Yeah. I, it, the, his chicken is out though, so that's, yeah. the, there's it's two riders here and one chicken and then two full kits here, so. Okay. We'll do the two full kits here. So, um, Agridons. Sorry, these are not elves, so I don't have everything memorized. No worries. Three attacks each with the Celestine Spears. Um, so, three plus three plus one. Uh, I will all out attack these gentlemen. Uh, so, this will be threes to hit into the um, damned Mornfang. Okay, and then twos to wound. Three at Ren 2, please. Okay, these would be six ups. Uh, I'll go through. 
just one damage each with the riders. Uh, sorry, that's three. Yep. Okay, so you've done three. Uh, and then the chickens will be twos and twos. Okay. Three at Ren 2, please. Okay, six ups. I'll go through. Two damage each. Okay, uh, so that just kills one guy fully, and then the four carries over, essentially. Okay. And then we got two riders down on this unit here. That is the... Well, that's just six, actually. So threes. And twos. Three at Ren 2, please. Sixes. One go Nice. Through. Just one damage. Okay. Uh, and then one chicken down here. So, uh, but I rolled three ones. So, oh. okay. Interesting. Um, over to you. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> um, huh. Uh, okay. So this guy's gonna move just up to here. Yep. This guy can shift just to here. Sure. And then basically, I'm assuming that I'll get all three actual hackers into these guys, but uh, only two of the um, uh, the mounts. Okay. And then everything to them. They're plus one to hit and wound. Uh, they're not plus one attack, though, so it's just going to be five attacks with the hackers. Uh, okay. So these are going to be on threes and twos. Okay. That's going to be three at Ren 2. Okay. We are Mystic Shielded, so this will be threes up to fives. Okay. Make one fail two. So that's four damage so far because it's three going to two. Okay. Up to four. And then we've got eight attacks with the map. Oh, sorry. There's one other guy. My bad. Uh, I, I rolled... Two attacks, three attacks, because one was the champion. Oh yeah, roll, his, roll ahead, roll ahead. He's in, but his mount is not, essentially. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, go ahead. So just two attacks on threes. And twos. One and more at Ren 2. Five up. You're good. good. Okay. Um, then we've got eight attacks. This is with the mount, and these are going to be mm -hmm. threes and twos as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Ren 1. Okay. Uh, armor, four ups. Okay, Take uh, four. it'll just be one each, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, that's this unit done. So eight damage. Do these guys are they already, already attacked? Done. Yes, yes, yep. yes. Uh, three, uh, two chickens will die. So we'll take him and him. That's fine. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, end of the combat phase. Their rage does go up by one. Um. So I'll get a bonus attack on my chickens next turn, as long as you don't stay, uh, as long as you stay in combat with me. Yes, sir. And Battle Shock, I am active player. I owe you a couple. Agadons are bravery eight. They lost two of their friends, so they can't fail even on a six. But the Saurus Warriors, because I think you actively said you killed their banner. Um... I did. Yes. So they're bravery eight, um, base bravery eight, and their banner is add one bravery. So we lost four. So let's roll this and see what we get. You're good. Uh, we're okay there. All good. Uh, then you've killed one more Fang over here, but they're plus two bravery while they're in combat, so they're totally fine. And then you okay. absolutely annihilated the Noblars, so mm. they are non-existent. Um, and I think that means you score five, right? I do, yeah. So I'll we'll have five units outside and one, two, three, four inside. Yep. Okay, and over to you, my friend. Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, so I'll get a CP, you'll get a CP. Let's roll for some primals. Yes. No? No for me either. Okay, so I've still got my one holdover from last round because I decided not to throw a primal. Um, mm -hmm. I've got two casts with the Butcher. I've got one cast with the Slaughtermaster. Let's do... Uh, so this plus one to hit and wound goes away. This plus one attack goes away. Um, you are in combat with me at the start of the battle okay. round. So let's do on a two or less for your aggrodons. Uh You'll take D3 mortal wounds. Uh, yes. You'll take one. Okay. You did full kill two. So this yep. is one fresh wound. Yep. Uh, then for source, warriors. source warriors on a two or less. No. Um, just that. So let's say... Ba, 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 ba. How many wounds total does the Stegadon have? I believe he has 10 left. Um, okay. 
Deco Dawn. 14 wounds. Yep, four, 10 left. Okay, sounds good. Um, we are just going to, we're just going to go for a CP with the Slaughtermaster again. More CP is okay. good, uh, which I will not get. And then, could do bait and trap, but I don't mind being in combat in this particular situation. Uh, I'm just going to do Lead into the Maelstrom. Charge a hero, charge a battle oh. line. One of them has to stay in combat, so I'm just going to mark that down here. Sounds good. I could also do all ogres in combat at the start of the combat phase. No, that's that's actually quite hard right now. That's actually very hard. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Let into the mills from. Okay. Okie dokie. Then, uh, I think that's it for the start of the hero phase for me. So over okay. to you. Um, yeah, my heroes are backlined, so I think we're just gonna just out. Uh, I think we'll just go for a command point on my troglodon. Okay. I will get it though. So, Woo. haha, that'll show you. Uh, let me make sure he's not a totem, All right? Quick before we go any further. I don't know why I just had that thought because I know that uh croak can cast through him, so you never know. I think Oracle and Chocolate on. Nope. Just an Oracle. Not a totem. Okie dokie. Uh, so he has a 12 inch issue, just like anybody else? Yes, just just like everyone else. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Uh, so that's going to be it for the start of the hero phase, then. Let's move on to the regular hero phase. Uh, mm -hmm. The Slaughter Master is going to resolve his pot. It's going to be a 3, so he'll give someone plus 1 to wound. I think. I am going to give it to... Can these Mornfang even realistically go in? I don't think they should, and they can't. Uh, so he's just going to give plus one to wound to the Stonehorn. Okay. Then we are going to go with... Uh, let's see. Spellcasting. Actually... We can get a cheeky pulverizing hailstorm off because mortal wounds is what's kind of important right here. So we're gonna go with pulverizing hailstorm with the huskard on a three up. Okay. Definitely a five. Uh, I pick a point 18 inches away or within 18 mm -hmm. inches rather. So I'm just gonna pick essentially right between the stegodon sure. and the uh, lancers. And let me just check real quick exactly what I need to to roll for each of them. Okay. So it's on a 2 plus for each. So we're just going to do a 2 plus for the Stegodon. Yes, it'll take one mortal wound. Up to five. And then for your Agrodons on a 2 up. Yes, it'll take three mortal wounds. Up to four. Okay. Then we are going to go... So that's it for prayer. So now it's basically just casting. You have mm -hmm. one unbind here. You have not an unbind there. So you have one unbind for my three casts, essentially, correct? Correct. Okay, we're going to cast Horfrost at the Slaughtermaster first. Sure. And that's going to go off with a 9, because it's plus 2 between the Mop Pod and the uh, this here. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I, I am going to throw a Primal at this. Okay. And it's a 10. <laughs> right. Um, you may have Horfrost. I won't fight you for an 11. Okay, I'm going to try and put it on the... Uh, Rock hard horns for the stone horn? Yes, absolutely. Ugh, three. Do I want run three or do I want to be on a three up to hit? Sitting on fours. I'm going to make it a three up to hit. Um, okay. Just because it's normally a four up to hit. Beautiful. Okie dokie. Uh, the Stegonon's not in combat, correct? He is not in combat not right in now, combat. no. Cool. 3 plus 8 with Horfrost. Uh, next up, we're going to go with the Butcher here. 
And he is going to cast Voracious Maw, which is the nice. Mortal Wound Chompy Chomp Get spell. It. Get it. And that goes off on a 13. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you got him in. Okay. I, I'm going to put it on your Aggrodons here. Don't you do it. Uh, so D3 Mortal Wounds for one. Okay. And then on a four up. Yes. One more Mortal Wound. Okay. And then on a four up. No. Okay. That's reasonable. Two Mortal Wounds. Um, then next up, the Butcher is going to cast Blood Feast. Mm -hmm. And that'll be a miscast. Okay. Uh, it takes one. We're going to spend the pot. And that one is going to go away. And then this guy has four on him, so he's going to heal for just one. And then this guy is going to heal for two. Okay. Uh, so now we can move on to the movement phase, unless you have anything in the hero phase. Do you want to do a uh, gotcha hammer? Nah. <laughs> no, this guy comes back. Ha ha! Uh, Poxel is asking, hello, what is the mod name that you're using? We're using DQ Age of Sigma right now. It's a nice little little pack that we've got here. Uh, and then Storm Vault is usually where all the models come from. Okay. Uh, oh, do I want to take plus one to hit on these guys? They could die from the damned. Because they only healed for one. That's all in the hero phase, so you could stack the triggers as you need to, yeah? Yeah. That's okay. I'm not going to do it. Um, okay because I don't want one to die. So movement phase, the Huskard is just going to go to here. Skirt. And basically just outside of three. It's 14 inch move, so I'll end up just outside yeah, of three fine. here. And I think I have like a maximum that I can even go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Would you like to redeploy? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. My plans, they've been foiled. Uh, uh, okay. uh let's do. Bum, bum, bum. So these Mornfang over here are just gonna move their 11. Okay. Beautiful. If you'd believe it, I will also not redeploy those Soros Warriors. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Say it ain't so. Mm. Okay, uh, then Slaughtermaster is just going to move to here. Okay. Butcher is just going to move to here. Okay. And we're just going to be stacking all those fancy schmancy meat. Lovely buffs. Um, these Mornfang are going to run. Mm-hmm. For a total of Ooh. lots, 17. Okay. All right. Maybe I could. Huh. That's interesting. No, I kind of like. Well, yeah, they're going to go up here. Uh, so 12, and then a big old 5, and I'll roll the dangerous. Mm hmm. On a one. Nope. Beautiful. Cool. That's going to be my movement. Sounds good. Shooting phase. At the start of the shooting phase, the Huskard can do the Blood Vulture. How many wounds mm -hmm. does your Knight Encanter have? Um, He has... Knight Encanter... Five wounds, my friend. Five wounds. Five total? Five total. Okay, I think I'm going to try and plink another Mortal Wound off. Uh, okay. Just because if you miscast, then it makes it really dangerous for you. Sure. Uh, so on a two up. Yep, take one Mortal Wound. Up to two. Okay. Uh, now, in the regular shooting phase, we've got some pistol shots to happen. So these Mornfang uh, did not run. They moved their 11, so they're just going to plink a shot to your Source Warriors on Sounds fours good. and threes. Just one shot. Okay. 
I assume no all out defense, but I gotta ask. No, no, no all defense. Okay, on the four up. Nope. Uh, these Mornfang back here did run, and then obviously the two that are in combat did not run. So the ones that did not run in the Source Warriors on a four. Nope. And then the other ones into your Agridons on a four. No. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna do my once per game two up d6 mortal wounds with the husker over here mm -hmm. uh, into your agridons. Okay. Yes. I need to check one sec if it's that many mortal wounds or if I roll again. One second. Is this from Metal Cruncher? This is the elixir of frostworm. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Got it. On a 2 plus, that unit suffers d6 mortal wounds, so I roll again. That's five anyway. Take oh, five more to work. Okay. I uh, will take five. Uh, let's take these five. And okay. one will keep shuffling. And then the pot refills. Because the unit died, or a model died within six inches of it. Mm -hmm. um, then I think that's it for shooting. Yep, so we can just move on to some charges. Sounds good. Uh, so we're going to go with these more and fang over here, which have plus one to charge. And they'll get a total of a seven. Not bad. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go like this. And then just steal this point from you. Okay. Opt not to take this. Of course. Uh, and then six dice into your duders. Uh, that's way more than six, sorry. Six dice, and these are on five ups into your source warriors. Uh, just one. Cool. Cool. The pot refills a third time. No, uh, Aha! <laughs> Super fill. It overfills. Yeah. Uh, these spills over. Stay back here. Sorry. I said it overfills. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, the stone horn's gonna charge. Mm hmm. It's a total of a four. Which I mean. We'll make it into there, even with some minor shuffling. Uh, and I don't feel like tempting the dice gods today. So I'm just going to do that. He's just going to go okay. just within half inch there. Okay. Uh, and we got four dice on four ups. So two mortal wounds into your stegadon. And Seven. would you like to all out, or unleash hell? Uh, I would not like to unleash hell, I don't believe. What's his armor save? Is he Husguard? But he's minus one to wound. Right, right. Uh, that's okay. Carry on. Okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, that's it for charges. Mm -hmm. So we are going to uh, do monstrous actions. The stone horn is gonna do his three d six block. For a total of nine inches. Let me just see here. Nine inches would get me to there, which is not outside of three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna go tag, tag, and then I wanna be just outside of three of your stegadon. Okay. Just so that you're not gonna get a monstrous action back. Sure. Uh, then I barely got my toe on the point here. And I roll a two up for each thing that it passed over. Mm -hmm. So for your not chameleon skinks on a two up, yes. Oh, take no. Two mortal wounds. Then for your stegadon on a two up, no. Okay. And then you don't have any monsters in combat anymore. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much that. I will use the Skink's uh, Chocodon on a 2+, plus to extend that range to 12. Yep, and that'll basically hit these Mord Fangs. Yep. And it is 12 inches, so... Okay, sounds good. Uh, then I'll do my first activation, which... I'm just going to verify that you can't block me, so you can get to here, but I can still pile in and hit the Stegodon, I think. Mm -hmm. Just verifying that. Yeah, I can definitely hover around and still hit the Stegodon there. Okay. Um, so, oh, but you could go this way, which is problematic. So I am actually going to go with the Stonehorn first. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I guess this guy if he goes this way, if he goes over to here. I'm trying to see. Basically, the reason why I'm being nitpicky about this for the chat, um, I want to be able to pile into the Stegodon. I don't want him to be able to attack me with his Agrodons here. Um, he didn't charge, so he doesn't have this plus one to wound anymore. You have a three inch pile in, which you could end up at the back of your bases here, so like that. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world if I just keep him in combat. Uh, so I'm actually going to go with these Mourn Fang first. Okay. And I think they kind of have to keep their same configuration. Um, and just kind of go like that, slipping ever so slightly forward. I don't think I can get within an inch with the uh, mount for this guy, though. Okay. So they're just going to kind of stay like so. Mm -hmm. Just cram together there. Uh, so they're going to put all of their attacks into them. And I think I'll spend my CP to all that attack here. Sounds good. I will not be all out defensing this one, I don't believe. Okay. Uh, so we've got three guys worth of Gargan Hackers into them. What's uh, what's the rend on this, by the way, Carson? Two. Rend two? Okay. Yep. Um, You know what? I lied. I will on defense. Carry on. How dare you? Uh, okay, so <gasps> we've got seven attacks with the Gargan Hackers. Yes, sir. He's going to be on threes, because I all attacked. And threes, so three at rend two. Okay, we are Mystic Shielded plus the all defense, so this will be armor for ups. Wow. Ooh, okay. Uh, then the mount, threes and threes, so three at red one. Uh, three ups. Take one. One damage. Up to two. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, you're good. Very. Um, so the Stegodon is out right now? Correct. Yes. Okay, good. Got it. Tracking. Um, well, I'm not going to activate the ones that just went into here, so I will activate some Saurus Warriors down here. Um, and I'm going to go, he's going to have to stay here. So honestly, man, for the sake of time, three and two. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, I am easy like Sunday morning. So, uh, where's my high guy though? He is going into there. So two, four, six, seven. Uh, so we are off the charge. So this will be fours by threes. Okay. And threes. Three at round one, please, sir. Five ups. Ooh. One damage each. Uh, sorry, that was into who? Into the red ones. Okay. Uh, and then two into the uh, gentleman who just charged me. Okay, they're mad. Three at round one. Nice. One. Just one damage. And that's down here. And then I'll do three bites here and two bites there. So three bites to the red unit. Looking for fives. Just one mortal wound. Sorry, into uh, the red unit. Okay. Uh, one dice for each model. Yep. And then two into the black unit. Nothing there. Okay, over to you. Uh, the stone horn will go now. Sure. And now, basically, all I have to do is stay 2.2 away from them, so I can orbit around just to go to here. Mm -hmm. Three inches. Got even closer, and then I just put everything into the stegodon. Okay. Um, we are going to... How many wins each of these again? Sorry, I, they're one each. I, I, yeah, I kind of don't want to put. I'm gonna put two punches and kicks into them. Mm -hmm. Or no, sorry, I'm putting nothing into them. I'm putting everything into your st stegodon. Sounds uh, good. I just need something to stay in combat. So that's okay. That's why that's important. Um, so everything into the stegodon. It's gonna be three punches and kicks. Uh, okay. These are gonna be on threes and twos because plus one to wound. Yep. Not minus one to hit. Carry on. Uh, threes and twos. Oh, just gonna miss. Uh, two at no rend. Okay. Uh, this will be four ups because I was not able to do steadfast majesty on you because you're outside of three of me. Okay, take so one. Damage. One damage. Sorry. Uh, the oh. rock hard horns. These are gonna be six attacks, and these are gonna be on threes and twos because Ooh. four frost to threes and then plus one to wound. Yep. So threes. Ouch. And then twos. Okay, I'll take it. Two at run okay. two. Sixes. Ooh, so that's four sorry. damage going to three damage. So three more. And then D6 attacks with the crushing hooves for three. And then these are going to be on threes and twos. Survive, my boy. 
Be strong for father. One. Rent. Uh, rent, rent one, sorry. Okay, fails. Damage. Uh, D3 plus one, so just D3, so just two, so six more damage. He's alive on one? Oh, no. Oh, he's alive on one! <laughs> oh, no. The champion! <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, let's go with yeah. some Agradons, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Go here and go here. Totally. Uh, we'll put... Uh, we're off the charge now, so... Not quite as punchy, but we get some bonus attacks with the chickens because of uh, Fury, so... Yep. All right, um, so it's spears on top, fours and threes. Are you minuses anywhere? Nope, nope. Okay, cool. fours and threes. Stock, lock, and barrel. Whew. Uh, okay. Threes. Four, run two. Sixes, so just four damage. One damage each. Yep. And then so one, two, three, uh, and then be... one carries over. Okay, and then it'll be eight chicken attacks, actually. So this is threes by threes. Uh, okay, there we go. We get you back. Threes. Three, run two. Nice. Uh, two, two damage each. Okay. So that will put him on one wound remaining. Nice. Uh, okay. Over to you with... Uh, any of these one thing here. Yep, uh, yep, yep, yep. We are going to do these more thing first. So basically it's just going to be like... That. Okay. I don't think this guy... Oh, he can get within two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like that. And then like that. So basically three full kits into your warriors. Uh, and then one just the, the dude on top. Okay. okay. Oh, because you want to toe tap, I see, I see. Yeah, okay. exactly. I, I yep. just want to snag this objective from you. Uh, uh, I'm tracking. So then let's do uh, the dudes on top first. So it's going to be three attacks each for a total of 12, plus one for the champion, so 13. And he's going to be on threes and threes. Okay. Is that with the minus one? Oh, minus one to hit. Sorry, fours and threes. From the troglodon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fours. Oh, God, it mattered. Oh, oh, oh it mattered. <laughs> it mattered. Ooh. Threes. Uh, just one. Just a happy one. Uh, take uh, one. I will fail. Okay. I have one damage marked. Okay. And then uh, we said three of the regular ones. So these are going to be on. Uh, that's 12 attacks. Uh, with the mounts, because there's three of them, and this is going to be on fives now. Also mattered. Nope, nothing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I think I have chameleons and a stegodon, so... Yeah. Uh, but the stegodon is hurting. Uh, he's taking a couple orange. damage. He's taken, a, he's taken a couple. All right, so massive horns. Uh, two attacks, threes by threes. Uh, and minus one to wound. Okay, uh, up to fours then. Okay, nice uh, two at rend one. Uh, fives? Ooh. Um, <laughs> one damage each. Okay, uh, and then five upwards, so it takes one. Okay, uh, and then I've got one, two, four attacks that are the same profile, which I can roll together. Threes? Uh oh. Threes. Minus one to wound? Fours, yep. Uh, one then at rend one. Five up. Takes it. Two damage. And five aboard. Takes one. Okay. Got you right where I want you. Oh, yeah. And then over to me. I'm going to make a yep. note not to pile into 12 inches here. Um, I got you. There you go. So he can go to and just rotate essentially to like there. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to get one guy to uh, right there. And then I think at best we're gonna get like one more guy's. Even if he moved three, actually, I don't think he could get within two, and he has to move. So uh, this guy is just yeah. gonna go like pile in his like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, good God! He's not gonna be sideways. We're not cheaters. Uh, then we're not stormcast players. But if he does like half inch or something to there. Yeah, you're fine, Carson. You okay, sure. Uh, yep. So the one yep. guy... So we're going to have uh, two full kits, and then one guy, just his uh, top weapon. Yep. Uh, so we'll do the top weapons first. So that's going to be a total okay. of two, four, six, seven attacks. Mm -hmm. 
uh, that's going to be fours and threes. Mm -hmm. One at rent two. Uh, six up. Okay. Ooh, so fail it. Three damage goes to two damage. Up to two. Uh, then we've got eight of the dogs. Fours. And threes. Two at rent one. Your dice are doing me favors, man. Ooh, okay, Ooh. I'll take two. <laughs> I love that as soon as you say uh, uh, uh. Uh, Yep, there you go. And then, uh, what's next? Just the chameleon skins? Oh, chameleons. Um, hold on. Let's... Mess them up! The Hunters of Huanchi with Starstone Bolas. Okay, here we go. Uh, Moonstone Club. All right, so let's do here, here, and here. Sure, something like that. Um, yep. Hunter's Javelin. Okay, so first off, two attacks. Is this guy minus one to wound? Yes. Okay, so threes to hit. Okay, fours to wound. Okay, one at rend one. Goes through. This guy does two damage with that stick. What a Chad. Okay, five up. Okay, it takes one. Okay, and then four attacks with the Moonstone Clubs. Okay. For his uh, compadres. Uh, fours to hit, fives to wound. Just one. Uh, no rend. Goes through. One damage. Goes through. Okay. They did as much damage as a Stegodon. Okay, I could have gone without knowing that, but you know what? <laughs> Good job, boys. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> yes, you know. Um, okay, I think I actually only score four. Because I didn't, unless this guy brackets, um, like his... He does He does not. He always counts as ten. Yeah. Uh, so for that, oh, actually, you did lose a bunch of Agrodons, so I guess see if they... Are you re... Oh, no, you only lost two. Okay. Two this turn, yeah. Which, their bravery eight, so six plus two, so... Yeah. So I can't take this point from you, so yeah, just score four. Okay. Um... Their fury does go up by one, so they're up to two. Yep, and I think that'll be my turn. And you're feasting, so yeah. Does did, he, did these guys have to be in combat? Oh, sorry. Um, was it all ogres have to be in combat? No, no, I, I did lend to the maelstrom. Oh, that is maelstrom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Copacetic. Okay, cool. Um, priority yeah. into three. Ooh, I got a five. Priority Ooh. is up to you, sir. Um, interesting. Okay, well. I have a very easy tactic, and I have you all stuck in, and my Agadons are free to roam about the cabin, so I think this is a good turn to take priority, so I will. Okay. Uh, I will go to two. You'll go to three. Um, uh, my battle tactic this turn is going to be overwhelming numbers, which is to take a, um objective away from you with all skinks. Um, let me see if I have to pick the objective, or if it's just do it. I believe I have to choose an objective. Overwhelming numbers. Pick one objective controlled by the enemy. Shockingly, I'm going to pick this one here because this guy is a skink. What? I'm sorry, could man. You, sir? Uh, apparently, I'm fire slayers at the moment because I just saw Grimnir knows no fury, so don't mind me. Oh, hold on. Having a an identity Wait. crisis. Before we continue, does the minus one damage apply to this guy, the Stegonon? It does. So, okay, okay, minus okay. one damage applies to all Saurus, Croxagors, and Coalesced Monsters. Gotcha. Okay. Um, one moment. Uh, this is just going to be settle a grudge because I don't want to just rattle through all of these again. So, uh, I'll be doing settle the grudge from the Caradron Overlords battle tactic. Uh, excuse me, book. So don't mind me. Um, primal dice. Uh, I will give us both one. And I will not. So we have one each. Okay, one each. And um, the, uh, butcher is also going to keep optimal focus. Seems fine. Um. I will go ahead and do Vengeful Defenders. So I'll move you. Move you. Move you. 4.5. 3.5. Nope. Okay, that's fine. 
they'll go here, and then they'll go here. And he will finally take one himself, so. Okay, now I'll have to get off that objective in a second, but that's okay. Um, heroic action, I will go for a command point on the Scar Veteran. I'll get it. And I believe that is my start of hero phase. I'll pass start of hero phase over to you, sir. Find a star on the stone horn. You got it. Okay. Um, casting. Let's do um, Mystic Shield from the Skin Coracle and Chocolate on. Hold on. I did take this objective. Sorry. No, I didn't. Nope. Oh, I lied. No, nope. never mind. Sorry. Because 10 plus 1 is yeah, 11 yeah, versus yeah, yeah, 10 yeah, left yeah, off. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm dumb. I I thought about it too. Uh, I will fail Mystic Shield at the moment. Um, I don't think I want to spend a command point to burn it, so uh, we'll just be you know, kind of there. So that's okay. Okay. Uh, Encantor is feeling kind of frosty, but not frosty enough to try and cast. So we're just gonna go straight on into movement. Okay. He'll start us off and go five. Go to here. Uh, shockingly, these guys are going to come say hello. What? To the surprise of a cheeky nobody. Four inch, three inch charge to make because you're plus one, I think. Three inch charge because plus one, yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, Chocodon is going to take her ten. She's going to go for a jog. Uh, except she's not going to throw away the battle tactic, so I need to be here. Just kidding. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, Scarvet is going to take his eight. Be dead on the objective. Just needs a four and change. Uh, and then I'm also going to bring... You can't do your uh, Tokyo Drift on my turn, right? No, no, no. Okay, cool. Uh, Warrior's going to come out to play. Which is a reference that I hope somebody gets in the chat. Uh, so just uh, so I'm aware, this with this scar button kind of uh, it, it would invalidate your tactic, wouldn't it? At the moment, yes, he's okay. going to charge off. But yeah. Okay, gotcha. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Just wanted to be 100% um, above board. I guess I could put him here. It's probably about the same charge. Yeah, it's five, six versus here, which is also six. Yeah, we'll just put him here just in case. Okay. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Um. Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah, because then she can go here and then blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, shooting phase. Um, Stegadon will shoot into the house guard. Let me make sure that his. Oh, actually, end of move phase. Um. Yes. Ooh, do I want to retreat or anything? Roar is invaluable. I've got one wound left there. Uh, I will pick them up, actually. They'll just go back into Deep Strike. Okay. Yep. Shooting face. Um, stick it on. Um, does not bracket, so we'll just put the shots into the Husk Guard. So three shots, threes, and threes. Rend one for three damage. I will all out defense this. Sounds good. Two hits. Three to minus one. To oh. All right. Oh, doesn't matter. Nice. Um, Chocolaton is going to spit at somebody. I think she'll spit at... Oh, this minus... This plus one save's gone. Um, I think she's just going to spit at... They both have five wounds. Could get kind of spicy. You know what? We're, we're here to be spicy, Carson. We're going to do a spit here and two spits there. How about that? You got it. Um, they're all minus one to wound, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so the one spit, threes, fours, nothing. Uh, then the two spits over here, threes. All right, good talk. Seraphon shooting, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, all right, charge face. Uh, we'll start with the trog. Seven, she's feeling good about that. You want to move her up here, right, for the tactic? Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Just to... Don't mind me. I'm just... I'm tired. It's been a long day. No, it's no worries. Midnight. It's midnight East Coast. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Scarvet. Five. Uh, that's why we had the command point. Oh wait, no, five. I think you got oh, it. Yeah. Right, yeah, right there. Five point four. Right. Five is crow flies. 
Um, six Agadons over here. Get plus one. Also get a five. I think I will re-roll that with the heroic leadership. Okay. I'm gonna be greedy. Yeah. We got greedy. <laughs> All right, so we are, um, yeah, thank you very much. I'm something of a surround and destroy connoisseur myself. That was a bad joke, I'm sorry. I'm full of bad jokes. How dare okay. you make bad uh, jokes in my chat? Ha! How uh, dare you? Okay, I'll go here and there. Beautiful. Um, no other charges? No other charges. Uh, Monstrous Rampages, the Trog will be extra stinky on a 2+. plus. She is. And the Stegodon will... Let me just triple check to make sure I can't make you fight last. I am 95% sure I have to charge you, though. Order. Seraphon. Battle Traits. Lost. That has made a charge move in the same phase can carry out this monster damage. Cool. Uh, we're just gonna roar your husk guard then with the stick it on. Okay. He does not. Over to you. Uh, going back to me, I'm gonna roar your agrodons. You got it. They're roared. They're roared. Sounds good. Okay. Um, start of the combat phase. Uh, we would only get it on these guys. I think I'm okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and use the Scarvets once per game. Uh, Primal Roar, so I'll increase the Rage Score by them by one, and him by one. These guys are out of range. It's 18 inches. And I'm going to activate these Agrodon Lancers first, as a matter of fact. Okay. Uh, so I don't know why I just spun him, but we'll go here and here. Um, I'm also going to get plus one to save against the Husk Guard for the Stegodon. If it matters, I don't know. We'll see. Um. Let me think about this for a second before I actually commit to doing anything and you give me any information. Um, he's fine. She's fine. I'm actually kind of curious if these six can lift the husk guard, so I want to go with these guys first. I want to okay. try that before I start losing some extra guys up there. So I will all up defense. Of course. There's six, nine, 12, 15, 16. 16 lances. It'll be minus one to wound, and you cannot all out attack, unfortunately. So fours and back to threes because I'm plus one to win from Kotal's Claw on the charge. So threes. Uh, Ren two. Four ups. Two go through. One damage each. Oops. Five, oop, five ups. Uh, one goes through. Okay. And then three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Eighteen chickens. That was close. There we go. Uh, threes and threes. Run two. Run two. Four ups. Three go nice. through. Two, da two damage each. And five boards. Three go through. Nice. Over to you, my friend. Okay. I'll go with these Mourn Fang next. Sure. And are they within 12 of your Stegodon? Or, uh, uh, no way. Drogodon? Nope. Okay. I, I'll spend my last CP and try and clear these guys away. They're, oh, jeez. Actually, they're going to try not to be in combat with them, so they're just going to stay where they are, essentially. Everything into okay. here. Sounds good. And then that's going to be five attacks with the Gargan Hackers, and these are going to be on threes and threes. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, plus one to hit. Threes and threes. Three at Ren 2. Sixes. So that's Six. four total damage, because uh, three goes to two. Yep. And then we're going to do eight attacks with their dogs. Mm-hmm. And these are all going to be threes and threes. Mm -hmm. So that's four at run one. Five ups. So two more, two, so six total damage. Uh, uh, three. One guy's alive with three. Okay. All right, cool. Um, so we're done here. Uh, let's just...
We'll go with the Scarbet on Agadon, actually. Uh, huh. That is a Agadon Lancer, just kidding. Okay, Celestine Spear. Um, he's got four attacks with that thing. I think I will... Yeah, I'll auto attack this guy. I want to try and do some limit testing here. So uh, this will be twos by twos. Ugh, fuck. Uh, two at, at Ren two. Sixes. Two two damage each. Okay, so, uh, that was on this unit. Yes, it is the black unit. Okay. Once and one then one I've one. got three chickens. Twos and twos. Two Ren two. Sixes. Two more. damage each. Okay. Uh, so that's one, and then one takes three. Okay. Over to you, my friend. Okie dokie. So that's gone. You can still go. Uh, I'm actually going to go with the stone horn just in case you spike with your stegadon here. Okay. And I have no minuses here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Uh, your stegadon's a plus one to save, you said? Yeah, she's plus one to save against your... Uh... Stonehorn, yes sir. Okay. We're going to put the rock hard horns and the punches and kicks into the Stegadon. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're just going to put everything into the Stegadon. Sounds good. Uh, ah, it's only one wound, though. I hate this. <laughs> um, we can... Yeah, we're going to put the crushing hooves into the Agrodons and then everything else into the Stegadon. Okay. So we'll do the crushing hoops first, so that's d6 attacks. For three. These are going to be on threes and twos. Because uh, it's plus one to wound. Uh, two at rend one. Stegadon, or the uh, Agrodons. Rend one to the Agrodons is five ups. Take so them both. d3 each, so d3 minus one. So that's going to be uh, three damage? Three damage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we've got five attacks now with the rock hard horns into the Stegadon, and these are going to be on threes and twos. Okay. They bracketed all at eight? That's what the bracket was. It went to five. Oh, okay, attacks. okay, got it. Uh, three at run two. Uh, so threes up to fives. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> three attacks with the punches and kicks on threes and twos. Two at no rend. Three ups. Thank okay. god. Thank god. <laughs> Thank god. <laughs> I was almost punished. I'm, I'm not oh. dead yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whew. Okay. All right. I'll go with. Uh, we'll just go skink chocolate on into the Mornfang here. Yeah. Uh, boy, that that would have been. That would have been a hoot. All right. <laughs> yeah. A hoot is one right. way to, to phrase it for sure. All right, venomous jaws. I have no idea what this profile is. Three attacks. Fours are are these guys minus one to wound in melee? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh so we're looking at fours and threes. Fours. Hilarious. Uh two tal and four limbs. Uh this is also fours and threes. Uh one hit. Threes to wound. Hilarious. And then a divining rod. Uh threes. Okay. And fours. Huh. Okay, cool. That was Something. Was, uh... All right. All right then. All right. Good talk. Good talk. Cool. Over cool. to you. Cool. Uh, so we're gonna go with these Morn Fangs here. Okay. I know they're gonna be minus one to hit, so they're just gonna go like 1.5, 1.5 to there, just to be outside mm -hmm. of three of your Scarbet. Sounds good. Sorry, that was way too far. No, you're fine. Like so. Uh, this guy is going to move just to here. And then this guy is going to mess up. Try not to. Okay, so I'm going to have to. So instead of doing that, this guy's just going to go to here to get his two inch reach in. And then this guy to stay back here just because co coherency. I didn't want to lose another one. Yep, um, sounds good. So we've got three uh, Gargan hackers into the Source Warriors. Mm -hmm. And then just two of the uh, the things, the dogs. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be seven attacks with the Gargan Hackers. And these are going to be on fives because they're minus one to hit. So that's three hits. And then threes. Oh. Two at red two. Uh, sixes. So that's four total damage. 
because three go to four. And then yep. eight attacks. The dogs. The, uh, the dogs. Five. Ooh. And then three. Bad for fives. Uh, two at round one. Okay. Uh, fives. So one more Take damage. One. Five. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. The loneliest Saurus warrior. The loneliest warrior. Okay. Um. So I have Agrodon and Warrior. Who else do you have left? I have. I think that's it. Oh no, sorry. I've got okay. these these Mornfang now. I was gonna say. I think the black yeah. guys. They, or the yeah, these ones. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, Sars Warrior will just go into the red ones. He's gonna see if he can take a bite out of crime. Uh, fours and threes. One hit. One wound, run one. See? Nice. And then he'll try and bite you on a five plus. One mortal wound to the red. Ooh, more time. Uh, and then I've just got my one Agrodon up here. Yep. And so he'll just... Well, his friend's dead, so he's going to go this way. We'll actually pile in three inches, not just wing it. Okay. Um, so he's got four lances. I'm off the charge. So this will be fours and threes. One, run two. Goes through. So just one damage. That guy off. And then six attacks with his chickens. Threes and twos. Or threes and threes, excuse me. He uh, can do it. Well, wait, what? Oh, he can do it. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Two, rent two. Six is. So four damage. Two, two damage each. Yeah. That's okay. All right, cool. Um, And then your dude's down here? Yes, sir. We. Okay, so he has to stay just as close to that scar rat. He has to stay just as close there. Uh, I'm going to put, so I'm going to go like this. Sorry, I'm just going to move these bases out of the way. Sure. So one like that. So one full kit into the warrior, one club into the warrior, and then one full kit into, I'll just go like that. That's fine. So basically two dogs into him, and then one club into him two clubs into him and then one dog into him uh so okay. let's go the source warrior first who's got two clubs into him so that's six attacks uh is one of those the champion yes uh so seven attacks oh, okay this is minus one to hit so it's gonna be fours and threes two at round one uh up to fives for the source warrior takes so you each okay okay he's a goner finally he's a goner uh, then we've got the one club into your Scarvet. Sure. And these are all on fours. And threes. One at red one. Uh, I think he's also a four up. Let me just triple check. Uh, Gradon. He is a four up. So, rend one, you said? Yeah. Five up. Take it. Just one damage. Okay. And then the dog into him. Four, or fives, sorry. And then, okay, one. We're good. Okay. Cool. Uh, then that's it. All right, awesome. Um, cool. Battleshock, I'm active player. I only lost one aggro down here, so he can't fail. His fury stays at three. Um, end of combat, his goes to two. And that is me. How about you? I've only lost max one per unit, so I... One, so you're fine also. Okay, cool. Okie dokie. Neat. Um, cool. So scoring, I will get uh, Settle a Grudge. Totally not Settle a Grudge. Yeah. And I think I just get two, because you pushed me off of this one, because you're ten. Oh, wait, no, I count no, as one extra. Three, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Yeah. Got it by one. Got it by one. Okay. Okay, so... You've got 15 to my 9. Alright. Going into my turn. Uh, so I'll get a CP. You'll get a CP. How many yes. wounds total are on this Haggard on here? He is 8 wounds total. So he's got 7. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of all these buffs. So it's no longer plus 1 to wound. No longer Hoarfrost. And I think that was it. Uh, optimal focus is on the Butcher. Uh, let's go for, let's see what primals. Yes, for me. 
Um, no from me. So I'll go to two and you'll also be at two. Sounds good. Night Encanter is in range now, so you have two unbinds for my three cast. I'm going to do... So at the start of the hero phase, we still have to do our... Uh, I have to do my Everwinter thingy. Mm -hmm. uh, so everyone that's in combat with a Beast Claw Raider, which is everything in combat, uh, sure. on a three or less, we'll take D3 Mortal Wounds. So we'll just go sure. from this side down. Uh, so okay. we're going to do with the Trog uh, on a three or less. Yes, takes one. And then your Scarvet on a three or less. No. That one Agrodon on a three or less. Nope. And then the uh, these Agrodons on a three or less. Yes. Take two. Okay. And so kill one. And I think that's all the combats there. So let's see. For battle tactic, I could try and do all ogres in combat the start of the combat phase which isn't mm -hmm. terrible actually getting these guys into combat might be kind of uh, it's not too bad does your um your prayer to do the mortal wounds is that in the hero phase or at the start in the hero phase in the hero phase okay cool just trying to see that's 18 inches away that's 21 20.5 inches away so if, theoretically if i picked here I could do mortal wounds to both of these things, which would be pretty nice. Okay, uh, so we're going to start by resolving the Slaughtermaster's pot. Sure. Uh, he hurts himself. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do the Huskard's Prayer, uh, Pulverizing Hailstorm, which will go off on a four. Okay. And I am going to put it here, and it, it'll hit the Mornfang as well. Okay. Uh, so it basically, it's going to hit these three units. Uh, or actually, let me see if it's enemy units. One sec. I think it's all units, but... I figured it'd be all units, but Beast Claw are immune to it. Nope, I'm not. Uh, so let's do our Mornfang first. Takes one. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's on a two plus, so he doesn't even take any. Uh, and then a two up for your... Trog, yes, takes two. Mm -hmm. Two up for your Scarvet, yes, takes two. Yep. How many wounds total on the Scarvet? Eight total. Eight total, okay. Okie dokie. Uh, so that's that. We're going to spend the pot right now. Slaughtermaster is going to heal as one. Mm -hmm. Stonehorn is going to heal for one. This Mornfang is going to heal for one. And this Mornfang is going to heal for two. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be that for the pot. Uh, next sure. up, we're going to be doing spell casting. The Butcher is going to cast Blood Feast. Okay. Which will go off on a 12. Mm -hmm. 18-inch range? Yeah. From the Butcher. Yeah. yeah. And this is the oh, I didn't even plus pack, attacks. I didn't pick a battle attack. Sorry. Oh, no, no. I... Unless you did all ogre, all ogres are fighting did, did, or something. Yeah, yeah, all ogres are in combat. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, I will void storm scroll the uh, butcher's spell here. Auto unbind. Auto unbind that one. Yeah, because okay. it's twelve. Can you unbind after that point? No, it okay. is uh, when he goes to unbind. I just looked it up. When he goes to unbind, you say he like cracks the scroll and he'll auto unbind. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, the slaughtermaster is gonna cast hoarfrost. Mm hmm. And that'll go off with this 8, because it's plus okay. 2. Uh, I will fight that with the Troglodon. Okay. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Cool. cool. So that's gone. 
And then we're going to do the uh, Voracious Maw with the Butcher. Sure. That goes off with a 10. And I don't think you have any more unbinds, right? Um, yeah, I'm out of unbinds, yeah. Okay, so the Voracious Maw is going to go on to... If I free that guy, that's not bad. How many woods total on your Troglodon? Uh, Troglodon is... Du, 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 Troglodon... She's 14. Okay. We're gonna put it on your Troglodon. Okay. Uh, so D3 mortal wounds for two. And then on a four up... No. So just two mortal wounds. Okay. And that's gonna be that for the hero phase. Uh, anything cool. from you? Um... No, I have regeneration on the Trog, but it happens at the start, and I think she's taken all five after the start of the hero phase, so. Gotcha. The... Okay, so let's do some movement. So these Mornfang are not in combat, so they're going to move their 11, just over to here. Mm -hmm. like so. Mm -hmm. uh, these Mornfang, they're going to move their 11. Okay. Just to here. Okay. These Mornfang stay in combat. Sure. Slaughtermaster will move his 8. You got it. The Butcher is going to move just outside of three, basically, of this guy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Cool. And that's going to be it for movement. Okay. The start of the shooting Shoot. phase is when the Huskern has to do his thing. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm going to plink a mortal wound off of your Scarbet. Okay. On two plus, or just happens? Nice. Up to four. Okay. That shooting. Uh, we've got one pistol shot, which we're also gonna put into your scarbet. Okay. This is minus one to hit. Yep. So five up. Yes. Three up. No. Uh, then this one. It's gonna do the same thing into your scarbet. Also minus one to hit. So five up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Three up. Yes. Uh, rend one. Uh, rend one. That'll be a five up. Nope, damage. D3. Does your minus one damage apply to shooting as well? It does. So then it's just one damage. Okay, up to five. Okay. Uh, so that's those two done. And then we've got this one who... I don't want to accidentally kill this guy and then fail my battle tactic. So he's not going to shoot. Okay. And is that it? Oh, no, these guys, sorry. They're going to shoot at your knight encanter mm -hmm. uh, on a four up. Is that, is Sorry, that it was the a five one? one. Uh, oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. There's a two. <laughs> I missed anyway. Okay, okay. Um, then we're going to go for charges. Butcher okay. over here is going to charge. You got it. Got it. Oh, he's all the way in. He's got ten dice into that Agridon, and each six is going to be immortal. Ooh, start of the combat phase. That's actually kind of rough. Um, Would you like to not charge then? No, I have to for my battle tactic. I probably should have thought out the battle tactic a little more, to be honest, but uh, I didn't really have a great one. Probably could have done retreat. Two That's okay. Um, the You could have still done retreat two charge too, if you want to. These guys just fall back. That's No, 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 it's okay. Uh, okay. We're just going to be risky here. I am going to put the mortals into him. Okay. If I fail the battle tactic, it sucks, but it's just one mortal. Okay. Takes one. It's four. Um, these Mornfang are going to charge. They've got plus one. Oops. That's a total of 11. Sure. And they don't really have any buffs on them. 
So they're just going to go like this. And then like so. Okie dokie. We're going to put the mortals into your trog. Okay. Uh, so that's ten dice on fives. Mm -hmm. So three mortal wounds. Okay, let's eight. He's Morn Fang. So make an eight inch charge. Also into the trog. Mm -hmm. Fives. One mortal wound. Up to nine. And then the Slaughtermaster. Sure. Up to ten. He puts it into your Scarvet. Mm -hmm. On sixes. Two mortal wounds. One taken. Okay. Yep. And... Then we've got monstrous actions. The Huskard mm -hmm. is going to roar these Agrodons again. Yep. They're roared. Uh, the Trog will... Everybody's already in range. Nobody just needs to be within 12. She will roar... The red unit. Okay. Nope. Uh, then, you're up first. first activation, we are going to go with the red unit. They are going to auto attack. Yep. And let's go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've got... We're just going to go like this, like this. Mm -hmm. Two full kits into the Scarvet, one full kit into your uh, Trog. You got it. Uh, so the battle profile. tactic is achieved. Everyone is in combat right now. It's the start of the combat phase to trigger it. Mm -hmm. um, so then, yeah, base profile into the Scarvet. So that's going to be... Is one of them the champion? No, so it's not the champion into the Scarvet. Are you going to all up defense? Um, these guys got roared, so sure. We'll all defense them. Why not? Okay. Sounds good. So we've got four attacks. These are going to be on threes and threes. Mm -hmm. Two at run two. Uh, five ups. So, He's dead. Yeah. And then the one full kit to the trog. Uh, it's going to be three attacks with the Gargan Hacker on threes. Or, sorry, fours. Uh, threes. Two at run Was two. it fours into the Scarvet as well? I just realized that. Let me check the previous rules here. Um, I don't I don't think it mattered, but... Last rule. Last... Oh, can I? Crap. It's, a, it's, a, it's okay, man. It's okay. I, it's I'm okay. sorry. This is a fine, two at run two into the uh, Trog, though. Okay, uh, these will be sixes. Okay, so Fail on both. Damage? Four, four more damage. Uh, Is that then... with the scaly skin? Yep, they're three each normally. Okay, up to okay. 13. And then four attacks with the dogs. I'm just sure. going to miss. Uh, so these are on fours and mm -hmm. threes. Two at red one. Oops. Got it. Make them both. Okay, over to you. Yep. Um... Well, she's not long for this world, so we'll go with this Agrodon into your Butcher, I guess. Okay. Is there any way? There's no way I can pile out from letting you refill the pot, so that is okay. Uh, Yep, so this will be Force. And threes. Uh -oh. Three at run two. Just goes through. One damage each. Uh, and then six attacks with this chicken because he's still full fury. Threes and threes. Uh, one run two. Two damage. Takes two. Uh, okay. Over to you. Expect a little more. That's okay. Uh, Huskard's going to go. Sure. And basically he's just going to pile... Three inches this way. Okay. That's 2.6 and 0 0.4. So mm -hmm. hopefully, like, yeah, these two Agrodons can't get their actual bites in. Um, ye and then everything oh. into the Agrodons. Do they have lowered pylon for being close to you? So, no, no, no. The, they're, oh, I'm stupid. I'm just dumb. Don't worry about me. 
Okay, one inch reach. One plus three yep. is four, everybody. Um, <laughs> whoops. Uh, okay, so three uh, punches and kicks on threes. And threes. Mm -hmm. No rend. Uh, four ups. You got We're good. Then we've got the rock hard horns, which are going to be five attacks. On fours. Mm -hmm. And threes. One at rend two. Uh, big six. Big six. Oh, big six. D6 attacks for five. And these are going to be on threes and one sec. It didn't matter. Okay, cool. <laughs> the game knew I was going to have to check the profile, and it yep, spared me from doing so. Um, I guess I'll go with the trog. Um, she'll she's on death's door, but we'll see what happens. Um, five to wound with the jaw. Okay. Um. She'll put all of her attacks into... So there's one blue unit, one blue unit, red, one red unit here? Yep. Okay. So four through three. Uh, she'll put it into the th unit of three. Okay. Uh, this is gone. Oops. Yeah, she'll put it into the unit of three. So. Okay. Uh, three bites. Uh, this is... Well, I guess I have one command point. This is bottom of turn. These guys are roared. This guy is not long for the world. Sure, I'm gonna all out attack her. Uh, threes. Uh, this does three mortal wounds and it falls off. Okay. And this is a five. One at rend one. Saved. We're good. Uh, two talon four limbs threes. And threes. Two rend one. Five ups. Both go through. Two damage each. Okay, uh, so that'll put two, carry two wounds over to one guy. Okay. Uh, and then she's got her Divining Rod, three attacks, uh, two attacks, hitting on twos, because of all that attack, and yep. then fours, nothing. Okay, over to you. Okay, uh, the activation doesn't really matter anymore, so I'm just going to go with these Morn Fang here. Mm-hmm. And then everything into the trog. Uh, Sounds so good. So that's going to be 13 attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, these are going to be on fours and threes now. Yep. So fours. That's with the minus one. Yep. Threes. Okay. Three at rim one. Uh, five ups. Two total she damage. Takes two. She dies. Okay. I'll go with some aggrodons. See if maybe I can uh, get you back. Hopefully. Get me Thank back. You. 16. Probably lances. can, to be honest. <laughs> yep. Uh, minus one to win. Is minus one to win. So fours and fours, because I did not charge you this turn. Four, run two. Sixes. Three go through. And then five one and fours. Each. Three go through. Uh, and then four and eights was 16. Yeah, 20 chickens. Because we have plus one to our fury meter. And this is still minus one to wound? Yep. Threes and fours. Uh, woof. Fours. Ren two. Sixes. That two damage two. Still could do it. Five up wards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight will kill him. Okay. Okay. And how many do you have on this point here? Four. I could only get. F uh, yeah, I'm gonna say four. I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, four. Four's fine. Okay. I don't think I can take this point from you anyway. Well. Okay. Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with the butcher. It's gonna pile in his three. Mm -hmm. Let's go to right there. I'm actually gonna put it sure. into these aggrodons. Okay. Uh, and that's gonna be three attacks on threes and threes. Mm -hmm. And threes. Two at rend one. Five ups. So three I'm damage. He's four damage base. Oh, sorry, two damage. Two damage. Yeah, sorry, okay. two, three go to two. Oh, yep. And two then that's him. Okay, up to two. Yep, over here. Then this Mornfang here, just step forward is three. Mm -hmm. Everything to this Agrodon. Uh, he has. One. Yep, exactly. So fours. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
threes. Two at run two. Feeling good. Boxcars. Oh my god, I willed it <laughs> to existence. It. Man. That's hype. Okay, uh, four attacks with the dog on fours and threes. One, run one. Five. Hey! Nice. <laughs> All right. Unkillable. Okay. Uh, let's do. So now it's end of the combat phase. This guy's a gut okay. buster, so he yep. does on a four up D3 mortal wounds to each thing around yep. him. So yep. per unit, we're going to go with the lone aggrodon on a four up. Yep. He okay. takes three. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then the pot refills. He's... Yeah, he he should have been dead a long time ago. And then a four up for the other ones. Guys, yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then he counts as six because he charged. He's still two, so I've got eight on the point. But. So do I. Or wait. But you had the point before, so I don't take it from you, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. So then I score another four. Okay. So that'll put it two. I'm just going to say scored, and then one, and then two. So 15 to 13 for you, sir. Awesome. Uh, let's roll a priority and see what happens. Big old prio. You got a three. I got a two. Um... Well, I think that with both, well, my whole hero suite's gone. I've got five Agadons left. They're tied up. This guy's got how many wounds left? Two. Mm. Uh, they're even tied up, so I can't do that one. Man, Carson, you know what? I think... I think you got me right now, man. This is uh, not a great spot to be in. I'm, I'm ahead right now, but I think you are going to be able to pull ahead in the last two rounds. Um, my grand strategy has continued its expansion, which I'm not able to get with the amount of models I have right now. So, man, I th think you got me, man. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, the continuous expansion is what again? Sorry? So continuous expansions have a, a Seraphon unit holding within each table quarter. It's right. Really, really rough, man. It's not 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 easy. Yeah, that's, um, that's totally fair. Yeah, but so I mean, if you, no, if that you was... took your turn, you'd probably kill these two units. Because um, I can, in yeah. Smack yeah. this guy. Yeah. Uh, then I've got I, this... I I could take them both, but you could just you know, yeah, come after you, yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. I think if if I was playing for differential, the only thing that I would do would be I would drop in the camis here, just to uh, body block you going for this objective here, just to buy myself a little bit of real estate. Like yep. I'd see that you're going to kill the Encantor, that's obviously going to happen, and you could go this way, but the three chameleons would just kind of, um, just try and buy a little bit of space. Yeah, because even if you blow them up with mortal wounds on the charge, you'd still be able to pile onto the objective though. So, um. Yeah, I think that would be the only change that I would make. But yeah, I'd be able to score two here and only one and two because now that you've pushed me off of this and then I think you can max score down the line. So, Okay. 23, 26, 19. That's not too bad. Well, good game, sir. It was a... Yeah, dude, thank you for the game, man. That was actually super fun, dude. And it was yeah. also, you know, educational for me, too, because I'm still trying to, you know, pick this up and see, you know, the, the ways to go about it and, you know, when to full send, when not to. So, yeah, man, I really, really appreciate it, dude. 100%. Had a, had a great time. I'm, I'm kind of shell-shocked as to, like, not getting steamrolled with a with this Morn Fang list, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it's... um They performed a little better than I thought they would. Surprisingly tanky against some stuff. But I guess that's always kind of been the trade-off of Coalesce, like... The damage out output can be a little bit uh, lackluster at times, mm -hmm. uh, but man, is it is it an anvil like a tar pit for sure? When you just like went up here with the uh, warriors and your agrodons. Mm -hmm. What I think I think there was um, one thing I could have done differently was hold um, hold magical dominance for round two. Um, I could have done overwhelming numbers round one, auto six the stegodon to here that I'm not in a bad spot for a battle tactic for round two. Because then I could just overwhelming numbers turn one to secure this with uh, Skink War Party, turn two go for magical dominance and still actually just sit back because the I think the issue was that this is impassable, this is impassable, and this is impassable, and I had to fight you on like these choke points, which wasn't really good for me. Yeah. Um. 
uh, conversely, even if I set like my Realm Shaper engine here, which was what I was thinking about doing, but um, you could just walk up with the stone horn and you know kind of crack it, so that wouldn't be too great for me either. So um, I think that's my uh, that's my takeaway here is if I uh, if I go overwhelming numbers turn one auto six to Stegadon walk on with ten pushes you off and then going into two it doesn't because you forced me to go on two which is I was gonna try and make you go of course. Um, on two, then I don't have to commit anything. I can just do magical dominance, sit on one, two more, and another tactic with yep. just the stegadon up here off in Narnia, which is you know that's fine. So yeah, that makes total sense. Being able to be a little yep. bit more reserved instead of throwing those mm -hmm. stegadons in my mm -hmm. face. Yeah, Espe especially when I'm not able to fight you on a full six frontage. Like if I can fight you on a full six frontage, I feel pretty good about Acrodons versus Mornfang. But when it's two versus you know three damage coming in, it's you know. You can chip me down a little bit, and then you could catch around on the sides. It was really very, very well played, man. Very well played. Had a great time. Yeah, likewise. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for playing. Uh, thanks for coming on. Uh, if anyone has Absolutely, any last-minute questions in the chat, I'm sure that uh, John will see it later, but it might be a little bit too delayed before we kind of wrap up the stream here. Is there anything you wanted to say before we, uh, we sign off? Uh, no, dude. Just... Um... Thanks very much for the opportunity, man. That was uh, great to come on. Great to finally get a game with you, man. Uh, we've passed like ships in the night, I think, at like three or four events that we've been to. So I think so. It's good to finally. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, it, was, uh, it was great to finally get a game with you, man. 100%. All right. Well, that'll cool. be that. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time.